Uh, we'll start in two minutes. <clears throat> Okay. The meeting of the Committee on Dangerous Drugs is now called to order. Uh, the, we ask the Committee Secretary to uh, render a one-minute prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Almighty God, we humbly beseech you to bless and inspire us so that what we think, say, and do will be in accordance to your will. Enlighten our minds so that we can become effective channels of truth, justice, and the fulfillment of a drug-free Philippines. This, these we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> okay, sit down. <clears throat> okay, uh, there is a motion by uh, Congressman Sagarbaria to dispense with the calling of uh, the roll and duly seconded by uh, Congressman Halusos. So the, the motion is uh, approved. May we ask the committee secretary to acknowledge first the presence of our resource persons and the honorable members of the committee. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We are honored by the presence of the following House members. Vice Chairperson Arnie Tevez, Vice Chairman Edgar Sarmiento, Congress, Congressman Manuel Chiquiting Sargarbaria, Congressman Seth Frederick Halosos, Congresswoman Cecilia Leonila Chavez, and Congressman Henry Waminal. Our resource persons are from the Philippine National Police. We have Police Chief Superintendent Serafin Reyes, Police Chief Superintendent Billy Beltran, Police Senior Superintendent Edwin Wagan. From the National Bureau of Investigation, Director Ferdinand Lavin, Attorney Jonathan Galicia, Attorney Medrobel Ilanan, Mr. Paul Dosdos, -Dos, Mr. Nasib Yasin Jr. From the from the Dangerous Drugs Board, Attorney Philip Vera Cruz. From the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, Assistant Secretary Ricardo Quinto, Director Jojo Ladip. Director Zarina Aquino and Agent Jury Rocamora. That's all, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, I have here a copy of the minutes of the the last uh, committee hearing dated November 23, and there is a motion to dispense with the reading of the minutes of the previous hearing by uh, Congressman Waminal, duly seconded by Congressman Tevez. The motion is approved. Mr. Chair. Uh, Congressman Webinal. Before we will proceed further, may I know from the COMSIC if there is a representative of the Department of Justice here? Because as I scan the privileged speech of the Honorable Halosos, <coughs> which is the subject of this inquiry, the Department of Justice is a pivotal government agency involved in this particular issue. 
And if there is none, we would know if there is that invitation extended to the secretary and um, the um, appropriate action of this August body be made if in case uh, no representation has been sent uh, by the Honorable Secretary of the Department of Justice. Uh, can you reply, Comsec? Yes, sir. We sent an invitation directly to Secretary Vitaliano Aguirre, and they confirmed that Under Secretary Erickson Balmes will attend. And is Under Secretary Balmes around? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, let me state for the record that uh, the committee has issued invitations. Perhaps, if I'm not mistaken, days before these uh, scheduled committee hearings, and it seems that the the guests that are that we are inviting does not respect the invitation sent out by this committee. So let it let me state for the record that the next time that these resource persons will not be able to attend unless they have a valid reason, the committee will be compelled to issue contempt against these people. So, uh, uh, Mr. the Chair. committee secretary is uh, directed to again reiterate our invitation to those people that we have sent invitation to. Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, Congressman Sarmiento. Uh, I was about to say the same thing, Mr. Chair. Relevant to the invitation of the House. It seems that the due courtesy that should be given to us is not well respected. Remember, we have a very serious issue about drugs. Much more, the authorities we trust most, the Philippine National Police, to address the problem. The anti-illegal task force was already disbanded by the president. So I have to deliver a privileged speech relevant on how we should, again, people of the Republic of the Philippines to trust you. So this is very vital, Mr. Chairman. I, I'm hoping that there even request, Mr. Chairman, that there should be a continuous of personalities that should be sent to us so that the procedures and hearings will have a closure. I, you know, what I noticed, Mr. Chairman, is that every committee hearings, there are different personalities that are sent to us. In fact, uh, we already sent an advance uh, notice to you, and you should be given us the, action, the appropriate action plan needed not to address the problems that we have. That's all, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Sarmento. I share the sentiments of uh, the honorable member. This committee is a, not a fly-by-night committee. In fact, the centerpiece of this administration, the Duterte administration, is the fight against drugs. And if you're not being respected by the partner agencies and those people that we invite to give their inputs, then there must, there's, a really, there's, there's going to be a big problem here. I stated that for the record simply because today, in the spirit of forgiveness, we will forgive those that are absent. But next time, we sent an invitation, and if they refuse to attend and heed our invitation, then we have no other recourse but to take some action that they may not like. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Congressman uh, Halusos, and then Congressman Wamina. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, actually, looking at everyone here present, um, I was actually the one the proponent who did a privileged speech and who requested for these people to be present. Uh, malaki pong insulto sa amin, sa akin, and sa committee na to na wala majority of the people that we've called. This committee has to be effective and the only way it will be effective to get the truth and to get uh, the proper um, data and information coming from these resource persons, kailangan umatend po sila. We spent our time, despite all uh, our busy schedules, si Chairman and all the other congressmen here, and even your time, since nandito kayo. And um, uh, I think, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, like we said, we want this to, to be finished um, swiftly, 
But considering na hindi po nag-attend yung mga pinatawag namin, we are going to be compelled to have numerous hearings because of this. And lalaki at lalaki po yung issue. Tandaan po natin that uh, after the pronouncement of the President, this is actually the first official public hearing na ginagawa uh, in regards to the cleaning of ranks and the rogue cops na nasa um, jurisdiction ninyo. So, maganda po uh, sana na kompleto po sana tayo today para malinis rin and para makita po natin ang um, um, uh, intention uh, ng kapulisan and the other agencies na you are cooperative with the pronouncement of the President in cleaning our ranks. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Alasos. Congressman Waminal. Mr. Chair, for the record, um, I'm raising this um, issue of non-attendance of um, government officials invited to this committee hearing because, as I said, as I look up into the privileged speech, we cannot resolve this matter without <coughs> the present of the Department of Justice. And again, the humble representation is the Vice Chairman of the Committee on Justice. And during our hearing in the proliferation of illegal drugs at the National Believed Prison, I was the one presiding that committee hearing when the Secretary of Justice had prodded us to issue a subwina to Mr. Ronay Dayan for snubbing two times the invitation of the committee so that a subpoena was issued and still he did not attend which led to the issuance of the warrant of arrest. I am bringing therefore to the attention of this committee through the Honorable Chair that let us be fair and let us be uh, consistent with the role of the House, that those who snub invitations in the committee hearings should be dealt accordingly. Uh, Thank Mr. you Chair. very much, Mr. Chair. Mr. Thank Chair. you, Congressman Ominal. Yes, Congressman uh, One follow-up lang, no? I'd like to emphasize that the people or majority of the people that are absent right now are the ones implicated in the drug trade. Uh, ito po ay isang manifestation of guilt since absent po sila and they don't, don't want to be subjected to further questions. So, yung mga tao po na nasa higher ups na ipinatawag namin, I'd like to ask the reason kung bakit kayo po nandito, like the regional director, the provincial director, but some of the police under you who is connected dito sa illegal drug trade or allegations towards them, bakit po wala sila? No? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Halusos. <clears throat> so, I hope... Yes, maybe we can uh, request uh, PD, SP. paupin po natin yung mga pinatawag para maklaro na nandito sila. Thank you. Yan. Mr. Okay. Chair? Yes, uh, Congressman Waminal. Those which were um, invited as uh, requested by the Honorable Proponent, if they are around, then they should be now be placed under oath by the COMSEC before they could make their uh, answers or response to any questions from the committee members. Yes, uh, thank you for that, uh, Congressman Waminal. But uh, before we, we go to that, uh, let me allow the chair to uh, issue his opening remarks in order to put everything in the proper, proper perspective. This will just only take two minutes, uh, Your Honors. And uh, because we want to state for the record why we're calling this inquiry and what we want to achieve in this inquiry. So please allow me, uh, Your Honors. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my distinguished colleagues and our resource persons who are present here in this uh, hearing of the Committee on Dangerous Drugs. 
this is just the beginning of our series of public hearings and consultations to cover as many pressing issues and concerns on the proliferation of illegal drugs, drug abuse prevention, and particularly in the, law in, in the field of law enforcement. The Committee on Dangerous Drugs is in receipt of a referral from the Committee on Rules of House Resolution Number 456, authored by Congressman Seth Halosos, and copies of his privileged speeches that was delivered last September 21, 2016, and October 10, 2016. Again, by our distinguished colleague, Congressman Seth Halosos, urging this committee to conduct an inquiry in aid of legislation on the illegal drug trading activities in his province of the Sambuanga del Norte. As we take up this urgent serious matter as alleged in the speeches, we enjoin our partner agencies, PIDEA, PNP, and NBI, to cooperate with this committee with the end in view of providing a clear picture of the actual drug situation in the province of Sambuanga del Norte, the alleged involvement of the Scalawags or the rogue members of the Philippine National Police assigned in the area, and the different political personalities in the province as well. Similarly, this being an inquiry in aid of legislation, the members of the Committee on Dangerous Drugs will be looking into the loopholes in the implementation of the drug law and pinpoint the significant provisions of RA 9165 that require not only the crafting of remedial legislation but also to call the attention of the executive body regarding the proper implementation of the drug law down to the level of our local government units. The inputs of our resource persons from the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, Philippine National Police, National Bureau of Investigation, the Dangerous Drugs Board, the DILG, and the Department of Justice will definitely help us craft remedial legislation to help our president in his fight against this drug menace. So I hope uh, the chair has made himself clear in the objectives of this uh, inquiry in aid of legislation. For an orderly hearing today, let us first set the rules for this inquiry. The copies of the rules of the House of Representatives on inquiries in aid of legislation are distributed to the honorable members by the Secretariat this morning. I, I hope you gave them a copy, no? So, and then we will allow first Congressman Halusos to, to make his presentation. And thereafter, if there are any member or more than one member who desires to inquire from our resource persons, that will be presented by Congressman Halusos. Please indicate or signify your intention to the committee secretary because we will have to list down those who want to propound questions to the resource persons. Para ho orderly yung ating hearing. And each member will be given five minutes to propound his questions and perhaps another minute for a follow-up question. And let me remind our resource persons as well that always, always um, deliver, uh, uh, direct the questions to the chair. Hindi ho pwedeng directa na pwede yung tanungin. Direct the questions to the chairman. And let the, the person who whom you wish to answer, answer it after you direct the question to the chair. According to our rules, if the committee deems that the examination of a witness in a public hearing may endanger national security, it shall conduct the, exam the examination in an executive session. So, yung mga witnesses, I hope they are already forewarned and briefed by their counsels of this uh, particular rule in our inquiry. If certain witnesses fail to attend our hearings, we will issue a subpoena to compel them to participate in the subsequent hearings. Witnesses shall testify under oath to be administered by the chairperson or by any person authorized by law. I would like to remind the body as well that the participation of the counsel 
for the witness during the hearing and while the witness is testifying shall only be limited to advising on the legal rights of the said witness. Uh, walang coaching. Okay? They may invoke uh, their right to self-incrimination at the appropriate time. So, unless there are other questions from the members of this uh, committee, we, we, the chair would uh, recognize and uh, ask uh, the proponent of House Resolution Number 456 and the proponent of the privileged speeches delivered in the August halls of Congress. Congressman Alusos, you're recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, I've had delivered uh, numerous privileged speeches in the past, and uh, I'm very thankful that uh, the committee, uh, spearheaded by our uh, respectable chairman, Ace Barbers, have taken notice to my call to investigate in the House. As I recall, I have also had numerous calls for investigation during uh, the 16th Congress, but uh, unfortunately it has fallen in deaf ears, and I would also like to question the committee during that time kung bakit po hindi uh, nabigyan ng pansin, uh, kaya po lumaki ng ganito ang issue natin. I would like to read a very short briefer on uh, how this uh, hearing came to be para mas maintindihan po natin kung ano po ang nangyayari sa probinsya and kung ano po ang issue natin na ipapalabas ngayon. President Duterte came to power on the promise of an all-out war on drugs. With the war on drugs came thousands of extrajudicial killings. These killings offended the sensibilities of Filipinos because of the impunity and the brutality which they were carried out. These kinds of killings are now are not new to the people of Dipolog and the province of Zamboanga del Norte. There has been numerous drug-related killings and drug-related crimes in the province during the last decade. The perpetrators of these killings were not apprehended. In many instances, they were not even identified. Amnesty International recently released a report linking the Duterte administration to this EJ case. However, with a significant increase in EJ case around the country came the whispered rumor that the perpetrators of this EJ case are the police officers themselves who are trying desperately to eliminate their links to the illegal drug trade. The rumor says that police officials are the protectors of the drug lords and the drug lord syndicates. In some instances, the police officials themselves are the drug lords. President Duterte's promise to protect the police officers emboldened these so-called ninja cops to continue their operation and use the president's war on drugs to eliminate the competition and further entrench themselves into power through drugs and murder. Recent events seem to confirm this ugly rumor. News reports and investigative findings reveal that after President Duterte came into power and declared an all-out war on drugs, crime and corruption, rogue members of the PNP continue to conduct illegal activities. This is particularly true in the province of Zamboanga del Norte and particularly in Dipolog City. Like in the other parts of the country, the increase in, in unsolved murders have brought the spotlight on the local police. Reports from informants and assets state that police officials have been running the drug trade in Zamboanga del Norte and have been carrying the murders and harassment of individuals and groups who endanger their operations. The most recent events indicate that these police officials have turned on their own men, hoping to save themselves from expose. Last October, PO2 Armando Viola, an officer of the Polo PNP, sought the help of this representation after the fifth attempt on his life this year alone. Viola arrested a notorious member of the Dipolog Drug Syndicate who was inexplicably ordered released by his superiors. With PO2 Viola's expose, the other members of the Drug Syndicate decided to turn themselves in and seek government protection. Mr. Rolando Realiza, 
was also an enforcer courier of the police run drug syndicate in Dipolog City. Despite his long service to the drug syndicate, he outlived his usefulness and he was ordered killed. He survived the assassination attempt and sought the help of the NBI. The person who was ordered to kill Rialisa, Juan Crisanto Gulang alias Maral, himself sought the assistance of this representation. Unfortunately, before I could arrange for his transfer when I arrived from the U.S., Maral was summoned by his police handlers. He was shot and killed in police custody while en route to the provincial police station for a routine drug testing. Likewise, summoned by the police handlers were brothers Roger and Rolly Daligdig. Both were enforcers, hitmen of the Dipolog Drug Syndicate masquerading as PNP civilian employees. After learning of Maral's death, the brothers sought out P.O. Viola to ask for help. Like P.O. Viola, the Deligdig brothers are now under the custody of the Witness Protection Program. They have been given statements, uh, they have given statements all under oath, narrating who they worked for, what crimes the syndicate have committed, which, which personalities and politicians protect the syndicate, and what is happening at the ground at present. Mr. Chair, ito pong hearing na to is very vital uh, because ito po yung missing link ng EJK natin na issue ngayon na pinag-iinita ng ating presidente. There's always an issue about a police killing a known drug dealer and it stops there. So it leaves a question mark kung sino po or ano po nangyari and it gives us a leading um, um, uh, direction into automatically loose term EJK. Ito pong hearing na to is the first time after this EJK and now cleansing of the rogue ninja cops, the first time that there is a confessed, self-confessed killer that is willing to testify na hindi po ang administration ni Duterte ang nagpapapatay or ang mga police ang nagpapapatay sa mga drug dealers. But this self-confessed killer has confessed already and told us that these killings have been ordered by the higher-ups, by people in authority, by politicians, and by higher um, people under their ranks. So I hope that this, um, this morning, uh, considering uh, we don't have a complete um, uh, line, lineup of the people that we have invited, uh, I hope that we could still get as much information and as much uh, help para makatulong sa mga unsolved killings and uh, grabbing drug trade sa probinsya ng Zamboanga del Norte and the whole country. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Alisos. <clears throat> Before we proceed further, let me just uh, state for the record as well that the Chair has received copies of uh, requests from the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters of requests addressed to the speaker through the chair asking for these witnesses to be given immunity by the speaker. Uh, I believe that the request has already been forwarded and uh, uh, as of this time, uh, we're still waiting for the speaker's uh, approval on this uh, particular request. But uh, just for the record, those that requested for uh, legislative immunity are Witness Armando Viola, Jr., Witness Ronald Realiza, Witness Nasib D. Yasin, Jr., Witness Paul Dusdos, Attorney Medrobel Ilanan, Roli, Witness Roli Lumakang Daligdig, and Witness Roger Lumakang Daligdig. So... Are the witnesses uh, present today, uh, Congressman Alisos? We would like to ask the committee secretary to call the following witnesses that we invited as per request of the proponent so that we can administer their oath. Patawag mga ano? The witnesses are uh, willing to 
testify pending the results of their request for legislative immunity. According to them, they have issued already their affidavits and they would like to stick with their affidavits. And they are aided by their counsel. Are there any witness who wants to, who needs a counsel? Okay. Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, Congressman uh, Tevez. Yeah. To protect the witnesses, I think we have to reiterate or ask them again if they are willing to continue with, with their testimony um, pending the approval of the request for immunity. Okay, so okay we Thank will you, do Mr. that. Chairman. Completo na, no? Ha? Apat lang yan, eh. Nasa yung tatlo. Ah, okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, dahil kayo po ay nag-issue ng affidavits at kayo po ay merong request ng uh, legislative immunity from the speaker, habang hinihintay po natin yung approval ng inyong legislative immunity, kayo po ba ay willing magpatuloy ng inyong test ng inyong pagtestify dito sa committee ito. Paki paki ano lang, uh, ikaw Roger Daligdig, paki-sabi mo lang. Willing ka magpatuloy yung iyong pagtestify sa committee pending yung approval ng request mo for legislative immunity. Uh, Rolly Daligdig. Opo, sir. Ronald Realiza. Opo, sir. Armando Viola. Opo, sir. Si Attorney Ilanan, are you willing to continue your... Uh, yes, you want to say something? Uh, Your Honor, I would like to inform this uh, committee that we had not issued any affidavits. Uh, we, were, we are invited as resource person as not, uh, not as witnesses. Are you, ikaw yung pumirma nitong request na to? Requesting for legislative uh, immunity? Yes, sir. With regards to whatever we will, see, we will be saying with this committee. Uh, okay. So, sino dito ang nag-issue lang ng affidavits? So, attorney, you did not issue any affidavit. Yes, You're sir. here in your capacity as the what? Agent in charge of NBI Dipolog, Your Honor. Okay. Si, ano, si, uh, what's his name? Paul Dosdos. Dos. Here, Mr. Your Dos Honor. Dos. Uh, my presence here is to comply with the uh, invitation of the Honorable Representative from 1st District of Sambuanga del Norte, sir. Si Mr. Yasin. Uh, Your Honor, it's the same with the other two. Uh, we represented the Polo. Uh, so in that case, pero you, you, let me, ano, uh, let me reiterate, kayo po ay nag-request ng legislative immunity. Yes, Your Honor. Bakit? With respect to anything we might say in this committee. But you're here as a resource person, di ba? Yes, Your Honor. So, th would a legislative immunity be necessary for the... Mi Mr. Chairman? The yes, uh, Congressman Tebe. I believe so, Mr. Mr. Chairman. It, it would help so that as resource persons, they will not be holding back to anything as it might incriminate them for any reason. So I think it, it's just in order, Mr. Chairman, that that they ask for legislative immunity. Okay. That's only my personal view, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Okay. In that case, you are pending the results of your request for legislative immunity. You are still willing to be the resource persons and willing to to testify in this committee hearing. Yes, Attorney. Yes, Mr. Chair. But there uh, there are issues uh, issues that uh, we might be able to discuss during. Uh, or upon request of the executive session. 
Your Honor. Ah, okay. So, sige, we'll take that matter later on. Unahin muna you. natin yung ating mga witnesses that execute that uh, issued their affidavits, okay? Pwede ah. pong tumayo yung ating mga witnesses and uh, the committee secretary is directed to administer the oath. Before that, Mr. Chairman. Uh, yes, Congressman Tevez. I suggest we ask them if on what language they are comfortable with because usually kanang mga Bisaya o Sai Madili kay maglisod o Tagalog if if they are comfortable to speak in Bisaya and I I I, I suggest we let them speak in the language they are most comfortable with, Mr. Chairman. Sige, kayo po ba yung nakakaintindi ng nakakapagsalita ng Tagalog? Mukha naman eh. Hindi masyado, sir. Ah, uh, sige, okay. Mas De, pwede pwede kami sa Bisaya, sir, kung pwede. Bisaya, pwede, sir. Pwede, siga, pwede siguro, sagol, sagol na lang. Oh, ang sagol, 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 okay. Yes, sige. Yes, 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 yes. We will. Oh, these are the, the because they're the ones who issued their affidavits. Yeah. Come, sir. Um, balihog pagtaas in, inyong kamot. Balihog ko og sulti si Imong Ngalan, Pinoyan, o asa ka nagtrabaho. Let's start with Roger Daligdig. Ako si Roger L. Daligdig, taga Silawi, Sambang, ah, Silawi Plangko, Sambuanga del Norte, o sa panahon sa unang nagtrabaho ko is it city employee sa Dipulog City. Rolly? Ako si Rolly Daligdig, striker dati sa police station 2008 hantod sa 2009 ug na GO ko sa 2009 pagka pagka kuan pagka employee sa City Dipulog Pinoy an taga Silawi pulang ko sa Bangga del Norte Ronald ako si Ronald Riel Ronald Urialisa usa ka ordinaryong citizen Nagapuyo sa General Luna Street, Central Barangay, Dipolog City. Armando. Ako po ay si Armando Pioto, Armando Biola Jr. Uh, nakatira sa Dipolog City at kasaku kasalukuyan po akong membro ng Philippine National Police. Asay na sa buongga. Musumpa ba mo na musulti sa tinuod, walay lain, kung dili ang kamatuuran lang, dili sa investigasyon sa Kongreso? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma you may sit down. Okay, thank you, Comsec. Uh, we, I would yes, like to uh, Congressman Minal. raise an observations in relation to the request of those um, government officials, uh, particularly those representing the National Bureau of Investigation, who are invited as resource speakers. First, uh, under our roles, only those who have executed their affidavits uh, uh, can... Um, avail the legislative immunity because uh, it is on the basis of their affidavits, the substance of which could be the grounds for the evaluations whether or not mm -hmm. this committee will recommend to the speaker for the granting of uh, legislative immunity. Second, I would just like to know the compelling grounds why this NBI agents are requesting for immunity when what they are going to testify here are to answer queries from the members of this committee in relation to their official functions that has come into play with regards to the privilege speech delivered by the Honorable Halosos. And third, I'd like to ask their boss, I understand Deputy Director of the NBI, Deputy Director Lavin is here, whether the appearance of these um, <clears throat> agents here in this committee hearing today are with the consent or permission uh, officially by the head of the Bureau. Mr. Chair, I, uh, I raise those uh, observation and query to the NBI Director. Okay, that's a valid uh, observation. Uh, may we ask the NBI to please reply? Uh, good morning, Mr. Chair, uh, Your Honors. Uh, for the NBI, uh, let me state uh, for the record, at the outset, we support, we fully support the, uh, uh, this committee in uh, this investigation. In all due respect 
Your Honor, despite uh, the fact that we have two Senate hearings, we have to divide our manpower. I am here to represent Director Dante Giran. Uh, with me are uh, able uh, and competent uh, agents and officers of the NBI. To my right is Attorney Galicia, Jonathan, the head of our Anti-Illegal Drugs Task Force. To my left is uh, Attorney Medrobel uh, Ilanan, our uh, agent in charge of the uh, NBI District Office in Dipolog. Agent uh, Nasin Yasib and Agent Paul Dos Dos. We have to require them, aside from the fact that they are required by uh, this honorable committee, to come to uh, Manila and uh, honor the invitation of this uh, committee. You honor the, uh, our agents. We are all from the NBI. We are all agents. Our agents are sworn officers, and uh, we have here a report on some of the investigations conducted by the NBI in respect of uh, illegal drug cases in uh, Sambuanga del Norte. Uh, while they are uh, sworn officers, there are sensitive uh, materials in the report. Some of these are still ongoing uh, investigation, and it is with respect to that uh, portion of the report with, uh, which uh, I believe we cannot disclose in open session, but we will be submitting a copy of the report. Uh, I believe it is uh, in respect to that sensitive portion that uh, these agents are uh, seeking uh, legislative uh, immunity, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, thank you, Attorney Levin. Uh, Congressman uh, Tevez? Mr. Chairman, yeah, with the indulgence of, uh, of our esteemed colleague here, Congressman Waminal, if it is not against any rules of this House that we grant the NBI agents parliamentary immunity, then I would request, Mr. Chairman, that they be granted uh, the request, as it might, be, it might help them be more comfortable to speak so that we can ferret out the truth in depth on all these matters, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Tevez. Uh, your observations are likewise uh, valid and noted. But uh, I understand that the NBI's uh, um, information are of national concern and uh, might be a threat to national security, if I read it right. And if this is so, then maybe uh, later on, maybe we can ask for an executive session in order that the statements, informations, reports that will be given to the committee by the NBI as uh, represented by Director Lavin, uh, siguro doon na natin sa portion na yon, pagdating doon sa portion ng NBI. Um, meron bang national security threat yung inyong information? Just state it for the record. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I believe this falls within the category of uh, national security okay. issues. Okay. If that is the case, you, the Honor. committee and the chair recognizes the fact that uh, there is a national security threat. Therefore, the information that uh, we will ask from the NBI will be deferred for the moment until we call for an executive session. In the meantime, we can proceed with the, with the other witnesses. And if uh, the NBI has anything to say or uh, query or, or, or reply to the queries from the members, the honorable members, that is not of national uh, security threat, please uh, answer uh, the queries. Okay, so tapos na tayo, no? Naot na natin sila. So, okay. Okay, uh, we can start the questioning. Uh, Congressman Alosos, you're recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, maybe we should uh, request uh, one of the resource speakers to either read the affidavit to get a better understanding on the situation so we can start the questions based on uh, the original affidavits and complaints of these resource speakers this morning. Okay. Um, are the members... Uh, given copies of the affidavits of the witnesses. If uh, the members are given copies of such, then maybe we can go through the affidavits as we ask uh, questions to the resource persons. Or, uh, may mga abogado ba kayo? Are you represented by a lawyer? Kailangan nyo ba ng abogado? Meron na, sir. Meron, Meron na, sir. 
Can we ask the lawyer, the counsel for the witnesses to please enter his appearance before this committee? Sino pong abogado nyo? Nandito po ba? Can we ask uh, his lawyer to please uh, enter your appearance before this committee for the record? Good morning, Mr. Chairman. I'm Attorney Stephen Cascolan. All the other witnesses have their respective councils, but I have been requested by these councils to make a special appearance for now. Uh, so I'm appearing as counsel for the four. For the four. Yes, okay. Mr. Chairman. And you are aware, uh, counsel, that your role here is just to advise them of their rights. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Ika nga, no coaching. Yes, sir. Uh, because let them answer yung uh, questions base sa kanilang affidavits. Yes, sir. Okay, is that clear? Thank you. Attorney, at Attorney Stephen Cascolan, Mr. Cascolan. Chairman. Okay, thank you, Attorney Cascolan. Uh, Congressman Lozos, you may proceed. The first witness that. Uh, the first witness that we will call is. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, since. Uh, uh, our resource speaker, Durano, is uh, not present. I would like to go straight to... I would like to ask... Uh, Rolly Daligdig to read his, um, his uh, affidavit and statements. And if you're more comfortable speaking in Bisaya, don't worry, we have an interpreter here. Pero mas maayos siguro kung uh, matabangan na lang or matulungan ni attorney, no? May, may I, Mr. Chair? The, the, the witness request to read his affidavit, the Bisayan version of his affidavit. Okay. Ako si Rolly Lumakang Daligdig, 31 anyos ang edad. Uli tao ang nagpuyo sa Silawe, Pulangko, Sambuanga del Norte. Human nakapanumpa sa kawayunan uban sa palaod nga buhatan ani ang lakip sa akong panumpa o pagsulte. In their affidavits that they submitted, uh, honorable uh, colleagues, meron pong translation yung kanilang Bisaya. For those that are non-Bisayan speaking, uh, merong English version dun sa kanilang affidavit na sinabmit sa committee. And you are provided with copies of that. Uh, sige, pakituloy mo lang. Sa bulan to, eh, Pebrero 2011, sa hapon, uh, Yeah, um, excuse me. Uh, Council, uh, can you please ask him to identify first yung kanyang affidavit and yung state it for the record? Yung una, sir. Yung, yung dito, sir. Yung una, yes, yes, Mr. Chairman. I will directly address. May I address the witness, Mr. Chairman? Uh, Mr. Witness, do you recall having... Na, maka, malala mo ba na nagpumirma ka ng isang salaysay? Yes, yes, sir. Pag ipakita ito sa iyo, makikilala mo ba at ma-identify itong salaysay na to? Opo, sir. Papakita ko to uh, sa iyo ang salaysay um, dated January 27, 2017 na may pangalang Rolly Lumakang Daligdig. Ikaw ba to? Oh, opo, sir. Opo, sir. Pirma mo ba itong nasa taas ng pangalan? Opo, sir. Opo, sir. Mr. Chairman, the witnesses identified this affidavit. Supplemental. Dated January 27, 
One minute suspension muna ha.
session uh, uh, the committee hearing is uh, resumed uh, in the huddle uh, na pag-usapan po kasi kasi we want to expedite there are four witnesses that uh, we want to call before this committee and we want to hear before this committee aside from that we we will also call for a an executive session later on kapag may oras pa so yung gusto sanang pabilisin lang natin yung procedure that's why we wanted to ask all the members present if uh, what are the pleasures of the member kung gusto ba nilang mabilisan we will continue with allowing the the witness to read all the pages in his affidavit and then ask questions later on just for the information of uh, everybody the committee has uh, adopted the procedure of first pabasahin muna natin yung mga witnesses nung kanilang affidavit after the identification with the help of uh, his counsel and then we can ask questions if the questions are already exhaustively asked by the members, we can call for the next witness. Oh, and hopefully, matapos natin buong araw so that we will still have time to call for an executive session later this afternoon. So, since uh, are there any objections uh, from the members? Hearing none. So, that is the procedure that we will adopt in this uh, committee hearing. Uh, before we go on further, let me acknowledge the... Uh, arrival and presence of uh, Deputy Speaker uh, Hernandez and Deputy Speaker Abu. And uh, our uh, DepSec team Adasa, who hails likewise from Mindanao. So, uh, let's proceed. May I, Mr. Chairman? Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman, just a manifestation for the witnesses, please. Yes, uh, uh, Just for the record, Mr. Chairman, uh, um, Mr. Roger Daligdig has two affidavits. Mr. Rolly Daligdig has two affidavits. Mr. Ray Aliza has two. And Mr. Viola has one affidavit. Ready for reading, Your Honor. Uh, bakit two? If I may ask, bakit two? Um, one of the, the other affidavit is the actual complaint affidavit, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Chairman? Yes, uh, Congressman Tevez. Kung matanong ko lang, yung isang affidavit para yun sa kaso, yung isa para dito? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Kaya nga, so let's just take up, I think, if the majority of the committee will be amenable, let's take up the affidavit that you executed for this inquiry because um, it might be sub judice if we take up the the affidavit that you you executed for the for the case and i would like i would presume that more or less naman pareho naman yung laman yan. the the gist of everything should would be the same, more or less. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. So I, I suggest, Mr. Chairman, we just take up the affidavit executed for this um, inquiry. Okay, thank you, Congressman Tevez. Uh, please proceed. Ako si Roli Lumakang Daligdig, 31 anyos ang edad ulit tao ang nagpuyo sa Silawi, pulang ko sa Mbanga del Norte. Humana ang manumpa sa kauyunan uban sa balaod buhatan ani ang lakip sa ako ako ang panumpa o pagsulti. <coughs> Nagpadayon ko sa trabaho nako sa pagkakudakir sa Dipolog City Police Station hanton nga gipatawag ko o gipasaka ko ni Sir Mac lang sa iyang opisina atong Mayo 2009 sa Las Gis sa Buntag. <coughs> o gipangutana ko niya ni Sir Mac lang o Niingon siya, Tutoy, kaya mo bang pumatay? Huwag nitubag po dayon ko nga, Kaya sir. O niya, niingon si Sir Mac lang sa kuha, Sige, punta ka sa tapinsyon. Isama mo si P1 Giovanni Kalina at si P1 Pedro Buena. Pagkahuman ni Ado ko sa tapinsyon, Kuyog nila P1 Giovanni Kalina o si P1 Pedro Buena. Huwag bagong mag-alasiti 
sa gabi eh, ning abot si Sir Mac lang sa tapinsyon o nagsabot dayon mi tanan nga naay duha ka tao nga patyon karong gabi eh, katong duha ka tao nga mangunguot nga nadakpan ganihang buntag nga nailan si ngalan nga si Panilo Suprado o Edwin Estrada <coughs> Paghuma na mugsabot ni Sakay ko sa ni Sakay ko si Piwan Ikalina si Piwan Pedrobina samtang si Sir Maklang ang nagdrive sa sakyanan nga sa pare ni Gobernador Roberto Way oy padulong sa Dipulog Police Station pagabot namo sa Dipulog Police Station gimanduan ko ni Sir Maklang nga muna og ko para i-release sa duty guard sa police station ang duha ka pinireso na sila Panilo Suprado ug Edwin Estrada paghuma na ko og release sa duha ka pinireso Ipasakay tayo na ko sila sa sakinan ni Gobernur Roberto Y. Oy, nga sa pare, gidraiban tayo ni Sir Maklang nga sakinan nga sa pare sa Dipulog Police Station, padulong sa Sapandalaga. O pag-abot na mo sa area, nagmando si Sir, Ma <coughs> si Sir Maklang nga inaog na na mo ang duha ka pinreso. Ning tuman tayo mi sa sugo ni Sir Maklang, maunang ipanaog tayo na mo si Suprado. Pero kalit ni Dagan ang usa ka pinireso nga si Panilo Suprado maunang ni kalit ning naog si Sir Maklang sa sakyanan para pusilon si Panilo Suprado. Naigo si Panilo Suprado og natumba maunang gisugo dayon ko ni Sir Maklang nga adtoon ang gahigda o gahapa nga lawas ni Panilo Suprado para sigraduhon kung patay na ba gayud ni Panilo Suprado og kung dili man gani tiwasan dayon. Mao nang pagduol nako ni Panilo Suprado gisiguro dayon nako og giposil sa ikaduang higayon ang iyang likod hantod nga siguro ko nga patay gayod siya gamit ang posil nga giisyo ni gipagamit ni Sir Maklang sa koa samtang silang ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. samtang silang piwan ikalina og piwan pedrobina ang gahawid eh, idun estrada ni dool, dool sa sampot sa sakyanan nga sa pare o gitiunan dayo ni Sir Maklang sa ulo si Edwin Estrada pero wala ning buto iya ang pusil maunang ako dayon ang gisugo ni Sir Maklang nga mo pusil kang Edwin Estrada ingon siya nako totoy banatan mo ning sunod dayon ko sa sugo ni Sir Maklang maunang gipusil dayon nako si Edwin Estrada sa usaka higayon sa ulo sa iyang ulo o duha ka higayon sa iyang likod hantod sigurado ko nga patay na siya gamit ang pusil nga ipagamit ni Sir Maklang sa koa pagkahuman na mo og patay nila ni Panilo Suprado o Edwin Estrada giignan dayon ko ni Sir Maklang nga tutoy wag kang maingay sa trabaho natin ha, kasi masamang tao sila wag kang mag-alala papasok kita sa City Hall ipa GO, GO order kita sa City Hall, sa Dipulog. Ang pagpatay kay Panilo Suprado o Edwin Estrada, mao ang unang nakong higayon nga mupatay o tao sa sugo ni Sir Maklang. <clears throat> ni April 2000, April 18, 2010, nagpabuto ko o pusil na 38 kalibre sa Barangay Silawi, sa Mbanga del Norte, mao nang nadakpan ko o napriso, napriso ko sa Provincial Jail, si Pulan. Manukan sa Mbangal del Norte. Ipasaligan dayon ko ni Sir Maklang nga dili lang ko mabalaka kay iya kong piyansaan para makagawas sa prisuan. Pagka September to, nakagawas ko sa prisuan kay ipiyansaan ko ni Sir Maklang. Paguman sa lima kabulan, sa insaktong adlaw, ni atong September to, ipiyansaan ko sa kuang igsoon nga si Roger Lumakang Daligdig. Paggawas na ko sa prisuan, gisultihan ko sa kuang igsoon nga nga ang kwarta nga gigamit para pang ibayad sa akong piyansa, gihatag ni Sir Maklang, gikan kay Mayor Ibilin Tang Oy, gikan sa pris, gikan sa prisuan giignan po ko sa ako ang, ako ang igsoon nga si Roger, lumakang daligdig nga pareporton ko ko dayon sa opisina ni Sir Maklang nang, nang, maunang ni Diretso dayon mi sa Dipulog City Police Station para makareport dayon kay Sir Maklang pag-abot sa iyang opisina Ingnan dayon ko ni Sir Maklang nga sumama ka sa mga operasyon ng mga pulis kasama ang Team David sa Dipulog City. 
Niyatong September 2011, gipatawag ko o gipatapok ko og ubang membro sa Team David nga sila Antonio Atopan, Lloyd Paler, Glenn Quares, Aristoto Labrador, Rodel Kalumpang, Alan Mirasol, Janet Asibido Inaw, Narciso Dano, apil na si SP1, Pactol Bertodes, head sa Dipolog City, Anti-Illegal Drugs Operation Task Force. Ni, ni, ngun, si, um, ni Sir Maklang, ug, gimiting mi tanan ni Sir Maklang dito sa taas sa yang opisina para dakpon o plantiran o siyabo si Genesis Ahiro na Osaka Radio Announcer sa DXFL sa Dipolog City. Ang insaktong gisugo ni Sir Maklang sa Amoa, Amoang Tanan, lagyan natin ng droga si Genesis Pagkahuman. Lagyan natin ng droga si Genesis. Pagkahuman ni Sir Maklang sa iyang sugo sa Amoang Tanan, dito sa meeting, gidunol dayo ni SPO to Roy Bertodes kay Janet Asibido Inaw, Aka Jingjing, ang Shabo ug ang kwarta ng Mart Money. Nihatag po o instruksyon si Sir Maklang, ingon siya dapat malaking katawan ang hahawak sa druga at saka pera ng Mart Money. Maunang nagbuluntaryo si Glenn Quares nga siya na lang ang muhawid sa druga o mubutang sa bulsa ni Genesis sa kwarta ng Mart Money. Inig madakpa na si Genesis. Genesis. Nakitaan dayo nako nga gihatag ni Janet alias Jingjing ang siyabo ang matmani kay Glenn Quares. Duha ka adlaw pagkahuman sa amuang meeting nga gipatawag ni Sir Maklang sa iyang opisina nanawag nako si Aristotor Labrador nga bakapan namo sila og adtoon sa video kebar sa Lakaya Street, Dipolog City kay positive nga nakitaan nila ang nila sa area ang target na si Genesis Aero itawagan dayon nako si Glenn Quares para morespondi og muabante dayon ni adto dayon ko sa police station gamit ang single nga motor og did, dito may nagkita ni Glenn Quares unya ni backride dayon si Glenn Quares sa koa og ni biyahe naming duha padulong sa area nga video kay bar sa Lakaya Street Dipulog City Pag-abot na mong duha ni Glenn Quarry sa Lakaya Street, nakitaan na ko na dito na po sila Aristotle Labrador o si Rodel Kalumpang na gamotor. <coughs> si Aristotle ang gadrive sa single nga motor o si Rodel Kalumpang ang nibakride. Yulat na mong tanan nga mugawa si Genesis Santon, nakitaan na ko na ninaog, si, ninaog sa bidikubar si Genesis Kuyog ang Osaka Bay nga isakay sila sa motor cab. Amo da yung gisundan ang isakya ni Genesis na motor cab, motor cab hantod <coughs> hantod na abot na abot sa dool sa GB Center sa Santa Filomena. Gibabagan da yung ni Aristoto Labrador ang motor cab o ako apong da yung gitapdan ang driver sa motor cab. <coughs> Ninaog da yung kosa ko ang single ng motor o gigawas at nako ang akuang <coughs> pusil uh, kalibre 45 o itiunan ang driver sa motor cab o nisyagit na ayaw mo o glihok kay pidiya ni bybas ni tungod kay dugay mina, ninaog si Genesis sa motor cab gibira si, ni Glenn Quares o ni Rodel Kalumpang si Genesis paggawas sa motor cab o giposasan na yun nila Glenn Quares o ni Rodel Kalumpang si Genesis Nakita dayon nako ang kunuhay nga gi-search ni gi-search ni Genesis o gibutang na ni Glenn Quares ang siyabo sa atbang nga bulsa sa short sirpan ni Genesis o ang kwarta nga Mart Money sa pitaka ni Genesis. Niingon dayon si Glenn Quares nako nga tawagan na si, Mac, si Sir Maklang. Itawagan dayon nako si Sir Maklang sa iyang cellphone number para i-report kay nadak nadakpan na namo si Genesis pagtubag ni Sir Maklang sa iyang cellphone ingon dayon ko nga sir nahuli na si Genesis nitubag dayon si Sir Maklang sa ko ah nga very good andyan na ba si Bertodes ning tubag dayon ko kay Sir Maklang nga wala pa sir pero parating na yon sir ingon dayon si Sir Maklang sa ko ah nga Pagdating ni Bertodes dyan, kasamang mga polis na naka-uniform, 
alis na kayo agad dyan at puntahan niyo ang media at barangay official at DOJ ning tubag dayon ko kay Sir Maklang nga yes sir Yes muna inong nang tubig Pagkuma na mo og istorya ni Sir Maklang nga nawag ko sa Dominic Bis gamit ang Hell and Radio nga isyo sa amo ni Sir Maklang gikan sa Dipulog City Hall og pagkatubag sa Dominic Bis na malihog ko nga sila na ang mahapit sa media barangay official og DOJ nga dadun sa area sa gidakpan ni Genesis Ahero ni text dayon ko kay Sir Maklang Sir gutom kami wala kaming pera ni reply si Sir Maklang sige kain kayo tawag kayo kay Joyce ingi kayo pera nanawag nanawag dayon ko kay Joyce bali si Ribaya city secretary ni Mayor Ibilin Tangoy para unta mangayo og kwarta pangkaon pero wala siya ning tubag si ang cellphone mao nang ni adto ko kuyog tanan tropa sa team David padulong sa boulevard sa barbecue ni Aming para mukaon ni atong February 2012 nakikita sa ako <coughs> ang ako ang igsoon nga si Roger Daligdig tungod kay naay Mr. Chair, si Sir Maklang excuse me Mr. Chair excuse me Mr. Witness uh, I just want to be specific point of inquiry Mr. Chair are all those persons being mentioned by the witness present Mr. Chair um, based on the invitations that we sent to the requested uh, resource persons only four have appeared before this committee, uh, Your Honor. And uh, the person that he is mentioning, uh, who happens to be his brother, Roger Delig Deligdig, is present. But uh, Sir Maklang, or Colonel Maklang, is not uh, around, Your Honor. Yeah, as Vice Chair, uh, you know, he is very consistent about mentioning Maklang. That's why I, I want to ask. The, the personality of this Maklang, he is a member of the Philippine National Police. Official ba ni, kinsa mga ginis si Maklang, na imong gisturyahan, o sa ka magpadayon, na makasabot ta? Amo na ako, sir, sauna, sir, si Colonel Maklang, police, PNP, di Pulog City. I hope the chair will allow me to ask. But, yes, yes. Uh, uh, again, on say tinuod nga nga aning Maklang? Po, Rinaldo Minjita Maklang. On sa man siya? One, sir. PNP, sir. Okay, ningon magkog imong amo. Para guna, kung polis, di mo matawag ng amo, kay otoridad man na sila. Yes, sir. Sakto ba? Mamay nagpasulod ko na ako pag Gio, sir. Sa Dipulog so, City. So, klaro ko lang ako si Kurt Maklang Usanik, ka miyembro sa Philippine National yes. Police. Sakto ba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ang iyang ranggo, unsa to? Pag ilaila na mo sa 2008, sir, major pa sa sir. Pag 2009, pagbalik niya, kernel na sa sir. Colonel, asa asa mang ginis and assign? Sa 2009, sir, sa Dipulog City Police Station. O 2008, sir, na assign sa Dipulog, ni, assume siya ni Major Sasuman, then... Uh, Nakailagid ka niya? Yes, sir. Kailan ko, sir. Kining imong gisulti diri sa muntubangan, kanang gisulat ni mo sa imong affidavit, huwag nagdiktar ni mo? Wala, sir. Wala, sir ang kanang imong gibuhat tanan imo gyan ng kabubuton yes sir kay patay naman ako mga kauban god sir liso ibulgar gyan wa no gi melain choice sir ibulgar gyan ako tanan ang tanan nga nibaw-an ako sa panahon ni sir Maklang sir og sa mga uban pang special og governor sir kining imong pag-ari diri nga nga committee ba ni sa dangerous drugs imo ning gibuhat aron magiyahan kining committee ba aron meresolbar ang programa sa presidente nga mahunong na ning droga sa ba? Yes sir, yes sir. So kini usbon ako kini si Maklang, miyembro ni sa Philippine National Police. Yes sir. Apan wa siya dire karon? Wala sir, wala ko kita sir. Tinduga ko no, tanawa na aba. Wala. Wala sir, sir Albera ug si Sir Parte mo sir. Pili. Kung panalitan bisang unsang oras sa makailagid kini. Kailan sir? Kailan ko sir? Kalbo na sir. Pao na sir. Salamat sab sa pagpangutanan nako Mr. Witness kay ako tao ko nga motuo. Okay, nga tao, tao nga musulti sa tinod mututok yun sa mata. Yes sir. Mo nang katutok yun ko sa imuha kay nganu gitistingan ta ka 
hinaot no nga dunay mahinabo kining atong komitiba in aid of legislation. Salamat. Thank you Mr. Chair. May we request the witness to continue. Thank you so much. Thank you Congressman Sarmiento. Uh, please proceed. Sorry, sorry. Ngayong February 2012, nakita sa ako ang nakikita sa ako ang ako ang igsuon nga si Roger Daligdig tungod kay naay instruction sa si Sir Maclang nga gisugo sa ako ang igsuon nga naami strapingon nga mga opisina sa buga, mga abogado abogado nagkuyog dayon ko og og ang akong igsuon nga si Roger para magstrapping sa lain-laing adlaw sa mga opisina sa opisina ni Attorney Alan Ranillo, Attorney Palpagan, Attorney Michael Ahok ug ang opisina sa pamantalaan nga Press Freedom nga gipanagihan ni Attorney Yang Yang. Gamit ang ako ang pusil uh, kalibre 45 ug 38 nga ako ang gipuli-puli ug gamit sa pag-strapping. Sa tuig 2012 gitawagan ko ni SP1 Roy Pactol Virtudes head sa Dipulog City Anti-Illegal Drugs Special Operation Task Force tungod kay naay gihatag nga instruction si si Gobernador Roberto Ay oy <coughs> og si Sir Maklang Maklang nga pangitaon nako si Crisanto Gulang Akamaral kay naa mi patyon nga tawo sa Banikap Galas Dipulog City nagkita dayon mi ni Maral og ningsunod ko sa instruction ni SP1 Bertodes nga maghulat lang ko og si Crisanto Gulang sa tawag sa ako ang igsuon nga si Roger Roger kay sila may gipamonitor sa target. <coughs> siya ang maghatag namo og lokasyon sa target og description. Pagkahuman sa usa ka oras, nitawag nako si Roger og ni, niingon siya nako niingon siya nga <coughs> nga <coughs> nakuyog na si Crisanto Gulang sa bilyaran sa Banikap galas nga Dipulog City kay naa nasa sulod sa bilyaran ang target nga nagsulob og short nga maong og saliko nga blue <coughs> Pag abot namo sa area nakit-an dayon namo ang target nga gasulob og maong nga short og gasaliko nga blue Sa ulay langan-langan ninaog dayon si Maral sa single nga motor og giduol <coughs> giduol sa target og giposil ni Maral Ang target Paghuman og posil ni sakay na si Maral sa single nga motor og ako ako ang ga-drive sa motor og ni Adto Ming Duha sa balay ni Alan Mirasol sa Barbaso Compound, Galas Dipulog City. Dito na nako nakita ako ang igsuon nga si Roger og ubang membro sa Team David na silang Banoy Dimasoid, Jaime Cabilando, Roderick Balingit og Rodel Kalumpang, Narciso Dano, Ikalina Santos, Aristotor Labrador, Lloyd Paler, Antonio Topan, Janet Asibido pagka taud-taud Niabot na si SP1 Bertodes og nakita ko sa pagdunol ni SP1 Bertodes kay Maral og usa paghatag usa og sa paghatag ni SP1 Bertodes sa droga og siabo kay para isip suhol sa amo ang nahimong trabaho anang adlaw. Excuse me. Sa tuig 2013 <coughs> Ako ang igsuon nga si Roger ni hatag og instruction si Sir Maklang nga istrapingon ang balay ni Nick Carbonel usa ka radio announcer commentator sa DXFL. Nanawag dayon dayon si Sir Maklang nako nga pantuon ko sa office ni Joyce Balise Ribaya, sekretary ni Mayor Evelyn Tang Oy. Para mangayo og gaslip og allowance sa kantidad nga 2000. Misunod dayon ko sa sugo ni Sir Maklang ug ni adto dayon ko kay eh, Joyce Baliseribaya para mangayo og gaslip og alawan sa kantidad nga 2000. Pagkahuman gi surveillance dayon namo ni Roger ang balay ni Nick Carbonel sa Lapu-Lapu Street, Istaka, Tipulog City duol sa Roskinder School. Niingon ko sa kuang igsuon nga si Roger nga among timingon nga mingaw ang balay kay aron walay maigo sa amoang pag-strapping. Pagkakadlaon, gibalikan na mo ang balay ni Nick Carbonel o gistrapping na dayo na ko ang balay ni Nick Carbonel gamit ang pusil nga giisyo ni Sir Maklang. Sa ako, uh, ug nahurot na ko o pabuto ang bala sulod sa 
Tuig 2013, nitawag po na ko si Sir Maklang sa akong cellphone o gisugo kung ni Sir Maklang nga istrapingon mismo ang radio station nga DXFL kay gidaot si Sir Maklang o si Gobernur oy sa DXFL. Mga, pip, mga pila ka adlaw pagkahuman sa sugo ni Sir Maklang nako ko, istrapping dayon nako na ang DXFL kuyog si Chid Aplaka si Chid Aplaka ang nagdrive sa single nga motor samtang ako ang nagbackride o nag-strapping sa DXFL gamit ang pusil na 45 gis yun sa akoan ni Sir Maklang Ngayon April 2013 bago mag-eleksyon gi-assign ko ni Sir Maklang sa 3rd district sa Buanga del Norte kay aduna na pud gisugo si Sir Maklang sa akoan uh, Mr. Chair can I Mr. Witness. Uh, yes, uh, Congressman Sarmento, would you... Yeah. As, as the Vice Chair, Mr. Chair, uh, sa pagsaysay ko ni mo, Mr. Witness, panagsadili ko na ito makuha ang tanan. First time, ka, first time kasi na ako... Sige lang, nakasabot ta. Gusto ko masayod, kay kini, importante ni, eh, ang gisgutan na to, ang illegal drug trading activities sa probinsya sa Sambuanga del Norte. Kinibang tanan nga tao nga isgutan nimo sigurado ka nga nakit-an gyud nimo, nestoryahan nimo, unya sigurado gyud nga nagkit kan nag nagatubang gyud mo. Yes sir, nagatubang Dili ni kay gihimo-himo lang nimo. Dili sir, tinuod gyud ni sir. No, I I would like Mr. Chair for the uh, secretary to Cluster first, no? Kedaghan manggun. Sa miyembro sa Philippine National Police, gawas kang Colonel Maklang, kinsa man ang uban pa nga nailhan mo nga ay maging alanan. Si Hinaynaya ko na pala. Numero uno, kinsa man. Colonel Parkon. Yes. Unahon na to uh, si Colonel. Congressman Sarmiento, if I may. Uh, may I ask the good gentleman from uh, Samar to reserve the questions later on? Okay. Uh, after we ask the witness to finish all the the <coughs> contents of his affidavit, if that is uh, okay with the good gentleman, Mr. Chair, I just want to know. I'm hoping that the chair will give me the chance. I will not ask anymore, but I just want to cluster the personalities, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that the people that are listening clearly will know who are these. No, the level of the Philippine National Police, because he's naming a lot of names. Mm -hmm. Second, the, the people in civilian in nature that is mentioning, and the victims, if ever the chair will allow me. If not, I, I, I have the, to go with the chair. With all due respect, uh, Congressman uh, Sarmiento, we perfectly understand what uh, you want to, to uh, achieve in this uh, questioning. Uh, I would uh, ask for your uh, consideration that... Uh, these questions, the groupings or segregations or whatever we call it, be be done after we finish because uh, we will uh, give the the chair to the vice chair of uh, this committee to ask uh, the question first. I yield uh, to the, after he I yield to the chair. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank Mr. you for chairman. your understanding, uh, Congressman Sarmiento. Please proceed. Ngayong April 2013, bago mag-eleksyon, gasayan ko ni Sir Maklang sa 3rd District sa Buanga del Norte kay aduna na po gisugo si Sir Maklang sa ko nga project dito nga mag-strapping sa mga kontra sa politika ni Gobernador Roberto Y. Oy, itawagan ko ni Sir Maklang nga strapingon kuno nako ang balay ni Kapitan Manisig sa Gutalak sa Buanga del Norte. Paghuman nako og strapping sa balay ni Kapitan Manisig gamit ang posil nga 45 kalibre nga giisyon ni Sir Maklang sa kuwa. Ni adto dayon ko sa balay ni Idi Kimbo sa Labason sa Buanga del Norte para mo relax. Nakit-an nako si Idi Kimbo nga maoy mudagan nga kandidato sa pagkamayor sa munisipyo sa Labason sa Buanga del Norte. Og si Pidoy oy dito sa balay balay. Pagkabuntag naghuwat ko nga moabot si Sir Maklang mintras sa ako ang paghulat. Ning abot si Sir Bert, si Bertoy Senior Kuyog si SP1 Bertodes unya gamiting na sila upat sa sala og nadunggan pud nako sa ilang meeting nga si Pidoy oy nihatag og instruction 
kay Espiwan Bertudes nga kung takon si Jaime Cabilando aka Michael Cabilando para pabaligyan og Cebu sa Lawis, Labason, Sambanga del Norte. Pagkahuman sa gihatag nga instruksyon ni Pidoy oy ni Duol si Espiwan Bertudes nako og gisugo ko na tawagan si Michael Cabilando para pabaligyan og Cebu sa Lawis, Labason, Sambanga del Norte. Nakontak po dayo nako nako si Michael og akong gihatag ang instruksyon sunod sa sugo ni Espiwan Bertudes nga pabligyaon siya og Cebu sa Lawis, Labason, Sambanga del Norte. <coughs> Pagagabi eh, ni abot ang PPEC Provincial Public Safety Company nga ipanguluhan ni Sir Maclang. Nagmeeting ming kauban nila Gobernador Oy Pidoy Oy og Idi Kimbo og si Justin Kimbo nga mudagan og konsyal sa Gutalak sa Mbanga del Norte tungod kay dunami paghimoon nga operasyon sa amuang nga team David nga one red usa ka red kuno nga namo ang balay ni ni Mayor Mariano Candelaria sa Gutalak sa Mbanga del Norte ang instruksyon ni Sir Maclang nga ako ang magplantiran og magbutang og granada og pusil nga 45 sa balay ni Mayor Candelaria nag Mayor Candelaria <coughs> Nagsugo po si Sir Makla nga magdala po og pusil sila Glen Quares og si Rodel Kalumpang para idugang sa pagplante <coughs> pagplantiran og pagbutang dito sa balay ni Mayor Candelaria. Pagka alas 10 sa gabi eh giadtuan dayon nako ang balay ni Mayor Candelaria kuyog sa kuang mga kauban sa Team David nga sila Glen Quares, Aristotle Labrador, Narciso Dano, Rodel Kalumpang uban sa PPC Provincial Public Safety Company nga ipanguluhan ni Sir Maclang og maong gired ang balay ni Mayor Candelaria pagsulod namo sa balay ni Mayor Candelaria ni sulod ko og kwarto unya gibutang dayo nako ang granada sa honos og drawer ang pusil nga 45 sa ilalom sa katre pagkahuman sa ako ang gibutang ning gawas na dayon ko sa balay ni Mayor Candelaria og ni huwat na, na lang ko sa sakyanan sa PPC samtang gahulat ko sa, nga mahuman ang uban na kong mga kauban sa ilahang trabaho. <coughs> ni Adong Mayo 2013, liwas eleksyon, gipaaddo ko ni SP1 Virtudes sa hideout ni Jaime Cabilando Jr. aka Michael. Pag-abot na ko sa hideout, hideout na anap po dito ako ang mga kauban sa Team David nga sila Glenn Quares, Alan Mirasol, Rodel Kalumpang, Joben, Antonio Atopan, Janet Asibido Inaw, o si Crisanto Gulang Akamaral. Unya ni abot na po si Espiwan, Espiwan Bertores, dala o dagang siya po nga gisulod sa ice cream na 3-in-1, isip pahalipay sa muang tanan, kay ni Daog naman si Gobernur Roberto Ay Oy. Niingon si Espiwan Bertores sa muang nga, kamo nay bahala ana kung unsao na ninyo. O nagpasalig po si Espiwan Bertores sa muang tanan, Ug ingon niya, ayaw mo ug kahadlok, pamalig ya ug siyabo, din sa dipolog kay naa si Gobernur Roberto, <coughs> Roberto Y. O. Nga, muproteksyon na to. Yes, sir, medyo lang na kulbaan sir kay first time na ko ron sir. <coughs> Ni atong Mayo 2013 bag-o nila kaw si Sir Maclang padulong sa Manila. <coughs> Istoryahan ay ming tulo ako si Sir Maclang ug kuyog si Mayor Penpen ug Mayor Mayor sa pulang ko sa Buanga del Norte <coughs> dito sa Song Edge Karaoke Bar sa Boulevard, Tipolog City. Gipaila-ila ko ni Sir Maclang kay Mayor Pinpin o niingon si Sir Maclang nga, Mayor, ito ang pinagkatiwalaan kung bata-bata, ikaw nang ang bahala sa kanya. Kung meron kang ipatrabaho, siya lang ang kontakin mo. Pagkahuman sa gisulti ni Sir Maclang kay Mayor Pinpin, ipangayoan dahil kung og number ni Mayor Pinpin sa ako ang cellphone number. Tuig 2014, 
Itawagan ko ni SP Otto Bertudes nga doon na may meeting kay naay instruksyon si Gobernur Yoy sa iyaha magkik magkita lang daw mi sa tropa or mga kauban sa balay ni Alan Mirasol aka Balundo pagkauman sa iyang tawag ni adto dayon ko pag abot nako dito na napod sila dito na un nauna silang Crisanto Gulang aka Maral Janet Asibido Inaw aka Jingjing Alan Mirasol aka Balundo ug Rodel Kalumpang ug si Jaime Cabilando Jr. Human sa pipila ka minuto na abot pod ang ako ang igsoon nga si Roger Daligdig sa pagkatawdaon na abot si Spioto ug nagsunod na dayon nagsunod na dayon among nagsugod na dayon among meeting ug instruksyonan mi ni Spioto Bertudes nga ipatawag siya ni Gobernador Roberto Wayoy ug naig instruksyon siya nga pat, ipat trabaho o ipapatay si Paul Dos Dos o sa ka NBI di, NBI sa Dipolog kay si Paul Dos Dos si Paul Dos Dos gisugdan na og imbestiga ang patay og droga sa Dipolog si Paul Dos Dos pod kuno ang mintabang sa pamilya ni Arthur <coughs> Arthur Babaso og file og kaso batok ni SP Otto Bertudes si Paul Dos Dos pod kuno ang naggatago ni Ronald Relisa aka Nanad ang witness sa kaso sa pagpatay ni Arthur Barbaso. Ang yang instruction sa ako, ako ang maoy mo back up og tira ang driver nako si Rodel Kalumpang ug ug muna og tira si Crisanto Gulang Akamaral, ang yang driver si Jaime Cabilando Jr. Ug ang magmonitor o mag-spot mao ang akong igsuon nga si Roger Daligdig kauban niya si Alan Mirasol aka Balundo. <coughs> Huwag si Jing Jing. Jing Jing asibido inaw. Aka Jing Jing. Dayon giignan mi ni Espiuto Bertudes nga ang sakyanan ni Paul Dos Dos. Ito mga pick up flip number KGR 609. Pagkahuman sa <coughs> pagkahuman giignan mi ni Espiuto Bertudes nga maghulat lang mi sa tawag sa mga spotter o nagmonitor. Human sa paghatag o instruction ni nanguli na dayon mi. Wala na mo napatay si Paul Dos Dos kay Idlas Kayo. Ni atong October 2014, gitawagan ko ni Mayor Pinpin, Mayor Pinpin, Mayor sa Pulang ko sa Mbanga del Norte. <coughs> o gisugo ko ni Mayor Pinpin, oy nga mo report ko no ko ni Inspector Edison Albiar. Chief of Chief Chief of Police sa Pulang ko sa Mbanga del Norte. Kay naay ipatrabaho patrabaho nimo. Kinaugmaan ni Adto dayon ko sa Pulang ko Police Station og ipasulod ko ni Inspector Inspector Albiar sa iyang opisina. Og ni, niingon dayon si Inspector Albiar nga totoy ikaw maoy akong himuon nga tigtira or tigtumba sa mga tao ni Mayor Pinpin oy o Gobernador Roberto Way oy. Nga gisugo sa pamaligya sa mga siyabo og sunog na sunog na pagkahuman pagkahuman og ipakita ni Inspector Albert ang mga picture sa mga drug poser nila Mayor Pinpin oy og Gobernador Roberto Way oy nga sunog na Ang unang ipatarbaw ni Inspector Albert sa ko mao si Efren Impinado Impinado <coughs> Gisur surveillance dayon nako si Efren og duha ka adlaw Uyog ming duha ni Maral sa ikatulong adlaw mga alas city sa gabi eh, nakitaan ni Jingjing Janet Asibido aka Jingjing si Efren Impinado sa sulod sa bilyaran sa Pulangko nagtext dayon dayon si Jingjing nako nga positive nga naa sa bilyaran ang target nitawag dayon ko kay Inspector Albert para i-report nga positive positive ang target nga naa sa bilyaran ningon dayon si Inspector Albert nga Dili tirahon sa sentro hulato ug hulaton lang ang hulaton lang nga mulakaw gikan sa bilyaran. Pagkauman na mog istorya ni Inspector Albert, ikontak dayon nako si Jingjing nga Jing, ayo biae ang target ug ipadayon ug sunda kung asa mo paingon. Pagka alas 10 sa gabi, eh, ni tawag nako si Jingjing nga padulong na sa ubay pulang ko ang target. Dito na dayon na mo nasundan ang target sa bulangan sa Ubay Pulangko at bang sa bulangan sa Pula, Ubay Pulangko nga nagdrive sa iyahang XRM nga motor color puti o stripe nga itom 
ako ang ako ang nagdrive single single nga motor dayon gitaparan nako ang target na si Efren Impinado o gipusil dayon ni Maral si Efren Impinado pagkatumba ni Efren Impinado ni naog dayon si Maral o gikuha ni Maral ang motor nga gidrivean ni Efren Impinado o did, dito nag namin nagkita ni Maral sa hideout ni Haim ni Michael Cabilando pagka ugma sa alas 8 sa buntag ning tawag si Inspector Alvear nga ang bayad ug pahalipay sa amoang nahimong trabaho unyang gabi na lang ihatag kay kwaon pa niya kang Mayor Pinpin ug mutawag ra si Inspector Alvear nako ug dito na kuno nako kwaon sa police station sa Pulangko ang bayad <coughs> Pipila ka adlaw ang niagi ni tawag na po nako si Inspector Albert nako sa ako ang silpon ug nangutana kung kaila ba ko ni Baden utod ning tubag dayon ko nga kaila sir giignan dayon ko ni Inspector Albert nga si Baden utod maoy isunod na, na, nako nga patyon ni tubag dayon ko kay Inspector Albert nga amo sang isurveillance ug usa ka adlaw ang target Ning sugot ra dayon si Inspector Albert pero gisugo ko nga kung makitaan man gani ang target nga si Baden Utod tirahon o patyon na dayon namo. Pagkahuman sa among istorya ni Inspector Albert ni adto ko og kuyog si Maral sa balay sa target og naghuwat sa ilahang gate. Pagkahuman sa pagabot og mga 30 minutos ni abot na si Baden Utod og sa walay langan-langan giposil dayon ni Maral. Si Baden Utod. Pero sa ikaduhang pagpusil ni Maral, wala ni Buto ang pusil. Maunang ako may mibanat o nitiwas kay Baden Utod. Gamit ang pusil na 45. Nag-iisyo ni Mayor Pinpin Oy. Pagkauman sa amuang trabaho, gihatag, gihatagan migbayad ng 5 mil ni Inspector Albert. Mga pipila na po kaadlaw ni tawag na po nako si Inspector Albert nga Ang sunod na ko nga tirahon mao si Arsili Barte. Ni advice dayon si Inspector Alvear nga makita si Barte sa atbang sa tindahan sa poblasyon Pulangko. Giadto den nako ang tindahan ni Barte og nakita nako si Barte dito sa sulod pagkakita nako kay Barte sa sulod sa tindahan. Giadto dayon nako ang ako ang igsuon nga si Roger kay magpa-drive ko sa single nga motor. balik sa tindahan ni Barte. Pagbalik na mo sa tindahan ni Barte, nakita na mo si Barte nga naglingkod sa gawa sa iyang tindahan o gipusil na dayon nako si Barte gamit ang pusil nga giisyo ni Mayor Pinpin pagka Mayor Pinpin. Pagkahuman sa amo ang nahimong trabaho, gihatagan na pod ko og 5 mil ni PO to naing. Ni atong March 20 2015, nanawag na po na ko si Inspector Alvear o gisugo ko nga kontakon si Julius Suarez, bodyguard ni Mayor Pinpin. Kay paatuon ko sa opisina ni Mayor Pinpin o sa pulang ko. Pag-abot na ko sa opisina ni Mayor Pinpin o gisugo dayon ko ni Mayor Pinpin o nga tumbahon ko nun ako si Dimitrio Ubag nga bodyguard sa mga Ulbis sa pulang ko kay kontraman ni Mayor Pinpin o sa politika. Mingon si Mayor nako nga ang magmonitor monitor o mo, mo ispat, ispat sa target mao si Julius Suarez o hulaton ranako ang tawag ni Julius. Pagkahuman sa lima kaadlaw, nanawag nako si Julius Suarez nga ang target padulong na sa pulang ko o nagmotor. Iadto dayo na mo ni Jaime Cabilando aka Michael o pag-abot na mo sa area dapit sa Pian, pulang ko, wala na mo naabte, naabdan. Ang target, nakadecide na lang may nga mubalik sa crusher, crusher pulang ko, dito na na mo giatangan ang target, pagbalik sa, giatangan target, pabalik sa target, nilabay ang target sa crusher, o amo ang gisundan ang target, o pagabot sa dapdap pulang ko, dito na dayon, gipusil ang, ang target nga Si Dimitri Ubag ni Michael samtang ako mao'y ga-drive sa single nga motor motor. Si Pio to naing ra gyapon. Gihapon ang nihatag sa amo ang og reward nga 5 mil 
sa nahuman namung trabaho. <coughs> Ngayon April 2015, nintawag na ko si Espiritu Bertodes nga nadakpan kuno si Jaime Cabilando Jr. Aka Michael Cabilando. Giignan da yun ko ni Espiritu Bertodes nga pangitaan ninyo og paagi nga makagawa si Michael kay delikado nga maling maling ta sa drugs kay delikado na ko kay dili na ko makontak si Gobernador Roberto Way oy tawaga si Mayor Pinpin oy kay ikaw ang naikontak ni Mayor kung ningto man pug ko dayon mao nang <coughs> itawaga na ko si Mayor Pinpin oy og niingon si Mayor Pinpin sige okay kay naapil ra ba na sa imo ang mga lakaw Dire sa pulang ko. Pagka dugay-dugay, nawag nako si Mayor Pinpin oy para ipahibalo sa ako ang ni Okin, ni Okin na sa iyang daddy nga <coughs> si Gubiro Roberto ay oy. Ug pagauso na si Jaime Cabilando alias Michael anang pagkagabi. Pagkagabi in kagawas na pod dayon si Michael sa prison. Mga pipila ka adlaw gikan sa pagawas ni Michael Cabilando, nintawag si Michael nako nga na instruksyon si Gobernur Roberto Way oy nga naa kuno itumbahon nga si PO to Armando Biola ug naay ihatag nga reward nga 50 mil 50 mil <coughs> ning baliwad ko sa gipahimo nga trabaho ni Gobernur Roberto Way oy sa ako ah, sa pagpatay kay PO to Biola kay amigo man mi amigo man ako si PO to Biola sa pag-agi sa pipila ka adlaw nanawag na ko si Espiritu Bertudes o giignan ko ni Espiritu Bertudes nga maghimo na lang ko og senaryo nga panulis sa Dipulog City para madaot si Piuto Biola. Ning balibad gihapon ko sa gisugo ni Espiritu Bertudes nga patrabaho kay Piuto Biola. <coughs> Ngadtong Mayo 9 pagka liwas pagkahuman sa eleksyon sa gabi eh, Nanawag si Mayor Pinpin oy nako sa ko ang cellphone og ingon nako si Mayor Mayor nga toy kanus aman ka makaanhi diri sa dipulog kay naa koy ipatrabaho nimo Ang akong tubag ni Mayor Pinpin oy okay busing magpaibalo ra ko og makaanha nako dia sa pipila ka adlaw nagkita mi ni Mayor Pinpin oy sa Boulevard sa Boulevard nagistoryahanay mi sa sulod sa iyang sakyanan nga Toyota Hilux color green 310 ay 310 ug niingon si Mayor Pinpin oy nga tumbahon ang mga bodyguard ni Mayor Olves nga sila budot ubag Junjun Lumbres Ray Milon Fluid Pinados ug gisugo ko ni Mayor Pinpin Pinpin oy ug niingon siya nga toy iatol ang pagtumba sa mga bodyguard ni Mayor Pin, Pinpin o uh, Mayor Olves sa adlaw nga mulingkod sa Mayor pagka Mayor Si Boyd Olbes, sa pagka-mayor. Ug usa ka sa adlaw sa paglingkod ni Rodrigo Duterte sa pagka-presidente sa Pilipinas para mapasanginlan nga involved sa drugs ang mga tao ni Mayor Olbes. Niadtong September 7, 2016, gitawagan ko ni Julio Suarez, bodyguard ni Mayor Pinpin oy nga naa na pud instruction si Mayor Pinpin nga ipatumba na si Gigi Trisintes. Amo ada yung gi, gipangita si Gigi Trisintes og nakit-an namo si Gigi nga nag nagmotor mao nang gisundan namo ni Maral samtang ako ang nagdrive sa single nga motor. Og dito giposil ni Maral si Gigi Trisintes sa atubangan sa furniture shop ni ex Vice Gov Olbes sa pulang ko. Pagkahuman sa mo ang nahimong trabaho, ihatagan na po ni reward na size mill na gihatag ni Julius Suarez, bodyguard ni Mayor Pinpin. Mr. Chair, uh, with the kind indulgence of the chairman, the witness, importante le, gusto lang ko sa kadaghan sa imong gisaysay, gusto gud ko masaya sa akong pagpaniminaw ang nagstorya yung gastinood o sa kamu pa dayon no? ningon ka nga unsa may pusil ang nebalan ni mo 45 sir more nebalan ni mo 45 din na po ko yung 38 sir unsa pa more sir okay. katong usa ka magpadayon katong mayor nga ningon na nawag ni mo 
na kay cellphone magbatuod. Na sir, na sir. Thank you Mr. Chairman. Okay, please proceed. Niatong November 19, 2016, gired o gidakop ang ako ang mga kuyog sa Team David na sila Maral o Jingjing sa mga tao sa PDA o sa IDG o Dipulog City Police Station hantod na hibalaan nako sa balita nga pareho sila gipatay ni Adtong November 21, 2016. <coughs> Nahadlok na ko sa mga panghitabo kay kahibalo ko nga ang nindakop og nitira nila ni Maral og Jingjing mao'y resulta sa pagsugo gihapon nilang Gobernur Roberto Ay Oy og ni Mayor Pinpin Oy og ni Mayor Ibilin Tang Oy apil ang mga pulis sa dipulog og pulang ko nga ako ang mga kontak sa ilahang mga ipatrabaho sa ako ang para patyon og walay makasulti o kahibalo nga involved gayod sila o involved sa droga o patay o ang pamilya nila Gobernur Roberto Ay Oy o ni Mayor Pinpin Oy o ni Mayor Ibilin Tang Oy sa Dipulog City o Pulangko uban ang mga pulis sa Dipulog Dipulog o Pulangko nakabantay po ko nga, nga sukad sa pagkamatay nila Maral o Jingjing daghan ng sige o nga atang sa ako ang balay maunang ning tago na ko kay kahibalo na gayod ko nga ako na, na po ang ilahang unayon o patyon kay kahibalo man man, man silang gobernur Roberto Ay Oy, ni Mayor Pinpin Oy, o Mayor Ibilin Oy <coughs> nga mga chief o police sa Dipolog City o <coughs> pulang ko nga daghan na kong nahibalaan sa ilahang mga illegal nga transaksyon sa droga o patay sa Dipolog City o sa pulang ko Kining tanan nga ako ang nihatag hinatag nga voluntaryo selaysay kay gusto nako na nga mahibal-an sa tanang tao og sa gobyerno nato nga karon nga tinuod nga panghitabo sa Dipulog City og munisipyo sa Pulangko sa Banggal di Norte nga nay tinuod og dako nga sindikato sa ngalan Team David nga paluyuan sa mga tan Pertahan sa mga chief of police o sa katawan o administrasyon nila ni Oy Gikan na Gobernur Roberto Y. Oy, Mayor Ibilin Oy, Mayor Roberto Y. Oy, Dipulog City Chief of Police Renado Minjita Maklang, Dipulog City Chief of Police Jubin Rindon Parkon, Dipulog City Secretary Joyce Pulisir Ibaya, Inspector Edison Alviar, SP1 Roy Pactor Bertodes, Pidoy Oy, Idi Kimbo, Justin Kimbo, Julius Suarez. Nga usak ko sa membro sa sindikato nga Team David nga ipaluyuhan o gastuhan sa administrasyon ni Oy o mga chief o police gamit ang kwarta sa gobyerno labi na sa Ipulog City gober, government o munisipyo sa pulang ko para magbuhat magbuhat ang pagmonitor sa mga tao o subject o target sa pagpatay sa pagstrapping sa pagdrive sa mga mupatay sa mga target o subject o pagsunod sa tanang direkta nga isugo sugo o imando sa mga dipulog o pulang ko chief of police ilabinas nga direkta nga sugo sa administrasyon nila oy Nga ang uban pa nakong kuyog sa sindikato nga Team David nila oy sa ngalan nila Alan Mirasol, Banoy Dimasuid, Crisanto Gulang, alias Maral, Janit Asibido, alias Jingjing, nahurot na og ipatay nila ni Gobernur Roberto Ay oy para walay makasulti sa tinuod nga illegal nga binuhatan <coughs> og malimpyo ang ilahang tinuod nga illegal nga pamaagi sa illegal drugs, illegal gambling, illegal kware, labi na ang pagpatay o pag Haras mga tao nga kontra sa politika. Kontra nila sa politika na gusto na nako isulti ang tanang tinuod bag pa ko ipapatay nila ni Gobernur oy para makatabang sa gobyerno ni Duterte. Nga malimpyo. Malimpyo man. Maundang na ang tanang illegal nga 
kemuhatan sa Dipulog City ug pulang ko Mr. Chairman uh, Council, tapos na siya? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Okay, so after hearing the affidavit of uh, the witness, <laughs> the committee would like to adopt the <coughs> affidavit and ask uh, the COMSEC that uh, the same be marked as the committee affidavit. Mr. So, Chairman? Yes, uh, Congressman Tevez? Yeah, I would like to request na muang yung ko, Mr. Chairman, na matudlo unta ni Rolly o kinsa sa iyang mga gipangalanan ang ni Adri Karot. Muhangyo ko nga mutindog, Mr. Chairman, and itudlo niya ang mga tao uh, na okay. Adri. Uh, pero before that, let me acknowledge first the, the presence of our honorable members. Uh, Congresswoman Glona Labadlabad, <coughs> Congressman Sherwin Tugna, Congressman Henry Ong, and Congressman Mark Sambar. Um, are there new resource persons, uh, Comse? Yes, Mr. Behind Chair. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Secretary Benjamin Reyes of the Dangerous Drugs Board, Attorney Alfredo Agkawili, and Attorney Yesta Victoria Villamor from the Department of Justice, Police Senior Superintendent George Almaden, Police Superintendent Lito Andaya, Police Superintendent Rani Hachuela, Police Superintendent Joven Parcon, SPO2 Roy Vertudes, PSI Janelle Pederio, and PSI Edison Alvear of the Philippine National Police. Okay, thank you, Comsec. Uh, please proceed. Uh, Congressman uh, uh, Tevez. Pa parliamentary yeah. inquiry, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, what is the parliamentary inquiry, Congressman Wamina? I would just like to inquire from the Chair on the order of proceedings that we should follow. There are four witnesses presented here, and only one had just uh, finish his testimony and the other three okay. uh, still Thank you have to testify. Uh, whether or not we will um, go ahead with the interpolation of the one and then the resource speakers in relation to the testimony so that probably uh, once we will proceed then we can dispense the witness that had already testified so that if that is the procedure, Mr. Chair, then we will follow probably the order of those list of interpolators that has registered. And on the other hand also, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, on the issue raised by my good colleague, my good friend, uh, the Honorable Tibis, of requesting the, we, uh, the witness to identify those uh, persons mentioned in his affidavit, if they are present here, I am having a reservation, Mr. Chair, that those who are here invited are not respondents of the case. They are invited not as respondent, but rather as resource speakers, and probably pointing them as the persons indicated in the affidavit might in effect uh, um, curtail or encroach with the um, the the rights of the resource speakers. Remember, this is an he a hearing in aid of legislation. This is not a court of law that hears a criminal case where the witness has to identify the accused of the case for purposes of compliance with the rules. So I am just uh, raising that, uh, Mr. Chair, if the manner raised by my good colleague is in accordance with the rules. Because if it is, then I yield to the sound discretion of the Chair. Okay, thank you, Congressman Maminal. As to the first point uh, of uh, the inquiry, <clears throat> for the purpose of an orderly conduct of this hearing, uh, the committee has uh, stated earlier that the, the procedure that we will adopt is first we will listen to the affidavit of the witness, as we call them. Then the committee adopts and marks the affidavit as uh, the committee affidavit. 
and then the members, the honorable members of the committee, can start answering, uh, que uh, questioning the the uh, the witness. As to the second point, uh, uh, Your Honor, I don't see any problem as to the request of Congressman Tevez in the request for uh, the witness to identify, but only limited to the identification. Because we just, uh, the, the good congressman from uh, Negros would just like perhaps to know personally if the person mentioned in the affidavit are good looking. And uh, if not good looking, and uh, maybe they are uh, uh, deserving to be recognized by the chair. Uh, if uh, I may reiterate, the request is just for identification. And uh, the chair does not see anything uh, wrong with the, that, if, uh, if uh, that would satisfy the Congressman uh, Waminal. Um, I understand the position of the chair. Um, put it in this way. Me, if the good gentleman from Negros Oriental would probably um, consider that those mentioned in the affidavits, after all, our Comsec will recognize or had already recognized resource speakers present. Why not just we give them the opportunity to be uh, recognized later through the questions that we might probably pose to them if they will be the person, if they are the persons indicated in the affidavit, so as probably to have a little bit. Um, some sort of uh, uh, honoring or dignifying also with due respect the resource speakers that we have invited. Unless otherwise, they are respondents in a case which are pending before this committee. That's my position, Mr. Chair. But just the same, I, uh, that would also be the sound discretion of the distinguished gentleman of the Negros Oriental, considering that the chair has made a ruling that the query is in order. Mr. Chairman, yeah, with the indulgence of my um, esteemed colleague here, I hope that um, people will realize that different people have different ways of ferreting out the truth in aid of legislation, and I hope I'll be given the chance to um, help everybody in ferreting out the truth in ways that I think would be in the best interest of the Filipino people, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mr. Chair. If uh, that will satisfy the Congressman uh, from uh, Misamis Occidental, we may now proceed. Uh, Congressman Nalusos? Yes, I would just like to interject. No, um, If we do not uh, identify these people and we are not allowed to ask questions, this will defeat the purpose of this inquiry. Number two, a lot of congressmen right now just arrived uh, that don't know uh, who these persons are that were mentioned by our ComSec earlier, and it would be a lot better if we can have a full identification by the witness himself to also know and to guarantee that these people, and he can swear that he knows them by heart or by uh, by the person that his um, uh, all allegations are targeted to, so I would like to again uh, subscribe to the uh, the motion of our uh, uh, good gentleman from Negros. Is the uh, the uh, um, yes, Mr. Chair? I already yield to the okay. position of the distinguished gentleman from Negros Oriental, but I would like to take exception on the manifestation of my good neighbor, the Honorable Halos Host. I didn't say that we should not ask questions to those uh, resource speakers. As a matter of fact, I have prepared questions for those resource speakers uh, mentioned in the affidavit. No, just to state the record straight. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. May I continue, Mr. Chairman? Congressman Tebes. So, um, um, yeah, makikiusap ako, Mr. Chairman, kung basig po hindi mo tindog si Mr. Daligdig Roli. O itudlo itong mga ngalan nga naadiri nga yung mong giskutan. Sige, ipaliugos, Mike. Mr. Chair, with the kind indulgence of Congressman Tevez, 
uh, going through the affidavit of uh, uh, the witness, Rolly the Ligdig, I have five personalities here. Tunay lima katao ng imong gisulti sa imong affidavit, uh, Rolly, no? Nga kung ihan ay kung mao ba ni, no? Sa imong ng gisulat. Numero uno, doon ako'y usa ka Colonel Rinaldo Maklang. Sakto ba? Uh, um, yes, sir. Uh, with uh, due respect to our uh, good colleague, Congressman uh, Sarmiento, uh, there is a request uh, by, previous request uh, asked by uh, Congressman Tevez to the witness. And after he complies with the request, then we continue uh, with the questioning of uh, Congressman I, I yield to the chair. Anyway, he is first in the list of those who wants to propound questions to the witness. And the order would be Congressman Sarmiento. The next is Congressman Waminal. Uh, third is uh, Congressman Sagarbaria. And fourth, the proponent, Congressman Alusos. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, if I may repeat, no? uh, mag-request ako na maturo ni, matudlo ni Rolly ang kuan yang gipanghingalan palihog Inspector Francisco Edison Albiar Ano na kanang itindog Kanang itindog Sige sige kinsa pa Kanang ay mong kaila Joben Rendon Parkon Betulis na betulis Di makita na Nana, sige, pada yan. Espiritu, Espiritu Roy Pactol Bertudis. Takala. Muna yung hit na mo. Sige. Kinsa pa? Wala nakakailas o ban? Si Sir Atuela. Ito ba, Sir? Okay. O si? Katong o ban silang dos-dos, kaila ka ng dos-dos po. Pul dos-dos, Sir. O kaila na, Sir. Akong igsoon rin na kaila na, Sir. Kaya among tanay pa. Sige. Okay na, Mr. Chairman. Um... Anyway, if I may continue, alam nyo bakit pinaturo ko para malaman ng iba? Mahilig kasi ako tumingin sa kalagayan ng tao habang tinatanong. Usually kasi kung yung tao namumutla, narinig nyo naman sa kay sa NBP hearing, no? pinoint out ko na namumutla yung isang tinanong ko. Usually yan, guilty or namakak, ah, nagsisinungaling. And I just wanted to see um, the demeanor of these people when they are being pointed to. O habang binabasa yung statements tungkol sa kanila, nakikita ko kaagad yung demeanor ng tao kung, kung kumusta sila ngayon. Anyway, my question, Mr. Chairman, will be directed to who's the highest ranking police officer here? Ah, sige, okay. okay. It's it, it's okay. It's okay. Just answer that question and then we go on with the next uh, interpolator. Uh, sino yung please? Uh... Um, my question is, ang bibigat nung binitawan na mga paratang ni Rolly Deligdig. Ang question ko lang, may ginagawa ba yung PNP as of today? I will continue later with my other question. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of this committee, your honors, uh, good afternoon. I am uh, Police Chief Superintendent Eric Reyes. Uh, I am uh, the Deputy Director for Investigation. And as to the question, as was the ranking, uh, uh, basically, uh, there are two of us. Uh, we have of the same rank, uh, the regional director of the incumbent regional director of uh, Police Regional Office 9 is with me, uh, Police uh, Chief Superintendent Billy Beltran. Uh, we are here uh, based uh, on the directive that uh, we attend this meeting in, uh, in aid of legislation and to answer and uh, give our uh, answers to the questions uh, or give comments as to the questions of the members of this committee. Uh, First, sir, I would 
first uh, to say that uh, our chief of the Philippine National Police is supposed to join us, but uh, he has been on the meeting since early this morning, so uh, he's sending his regrets. Uh, basically, sir, all the people that were summoned, members of the police force that was included in the subpoena are present, and they are here. So as to the allegations of uh, just we have heard, uh, this is the first time that we hear it, uh, and then uh, we are sure that uh, we are tracking because he mentioned about uh, Colonel McLang. Uh, we, do, uh, I don't, we do not know him personally. I've been texting my staff to verify if, uh, where he is assigned now or what his status. Uh, maybe we could give you, uh, give you feedback later on. We could submit a report as to the police personnel has, who has been yes, naming. Uh, but uh, for the major, majority that is naming, uh, I think they are present and they could answer uh, the allegations imputed against them. Uh does the regional director of the PNP know a certain Colonel McLang? No, sir. Uh, I have not met him. And uh, I wasn't at uh, Pro 9 then yet uh, during the dates that were mentioned, sir. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll uh, ask more questions about that later on. Are you okay, uh, Congressman Tevez? Okay, the first two profound question is our Honorable Vice Chair, Congressman Edgar Sarmiento. You're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Rolly, basig gutom naka, okay ra? Nagmuspon ako. Excuse me, Congressman. Rolly, bak bakap pa di ka magtagalog kahit konti konti. Because anyway, we can, pwede naman natin siyang itranslate eh, kung nahirapan ka. Kasi merong kang tagalog words na naintindihan na utos sa yun ni Colonel Maklang eh. So ibig sabihin, marunong ka. Oh, marunong, sir. Konti lang, sir. O, yun pala eh. Bisag, bisag gamay, okay lang. Basta, total, makasabot man tanan. Okay, okay? Sa, sa. Now, uh, Mr. Chair, before I ask the witness questions, I would like again to appeal to the leadership of the Philippine National Police. A series of events in the past two weeks came out in the open. It became an international issue to us because of the kidnapping of a Korean. That's the reason why the president disbanded the anti-illegal task force, resulting of which the rogue members of the Philippine National Police was instructed to go to Malacanang. And everybody should know what happened to these people. And here we are again. This is in Sambuanga, Aulana, for a while. Sambuanga del Norte, or Region 9. Out of 17 regions in the country, I'm hoping that this is, not happen this is not happening everywhere. Because it seems to appear we are now rather a country of law. We are now moving towards a country of men. When the law is just enforced by someone who wants to put an end to one's life. Again, my appeal, the reason why maybe the president came up with very strong pronouncement, sad to say, the protector supposedly of the Filipinas. I'm hoping that you take this problem seriously because these are very serious allegations. Now, Rolly, Gihan ay nako dire hinaot imo kong tabangan kay seryoso ning imong allegation. Yes sir. Kini gibuhat dire dili mi korte. Sir, dili dili mi korte dire nasayod ka. Yes sir, no? sir. Kini dire nangita mig paagi nga sa imong gisalaysay ang komitiba sa dangerous drugs pamaagi sa imong isulti mangita mig Balaod nga mahugdan gyud nato ni. Kay nakit-an mo ginamo dire ang usa gyud no nga murag huyang isa sa pinaka weakness ng Philippine National Police is the enforcement of discipline. Kay ang atong Philippine National Police sad to say it is civilian in nature. 
kung maka sila sila makasala sila unlike the military when there's a court martial they go right away in a proceeding kadali sila matangtang diri daghan pag hibuon mabitaw na nga ang gihimo sa presidente kun nakit-an natuntanan kun nakita natin ang ginawahon ni presidente kasi hindi niya lang basta matatanggal yan pinadala na lang ipapadala na lang sila sa basilan at doon na lang ilalagay ano now para maintindihan ng lahat itong allegation mo ay napakabigat ginawang ko ng bracket ito Mr. Chair tinaster ko ho Philippine National Police sabihin mo lang kung ito ang mga personalidad na nasa ginawa mong salaysay Colonel Rinaldo Maclang, tama po ba? Yes, sir. PO1 Giovanni Escalina, tama po ba? Escalina, si PO1 Giovanni Escalina. Yes, sir. Escalina, tama ba? Escalina, Escalina. Yes, sir. Pangatlo, PO1 Pedro Buena. Pedro Buena yan, sir. Pedro Buena. Yes, sir. Ikaapat, SPO1 Roy Pactol Bertudes. Yes, sir. Ikalima, Inspector Edison Alviar. Yes, sir. Wala nang iba? Meron pang iba, sir, si Juben Rindon Parkon, sir. Juben? Rindon Parkon. Parkon. Okay. Wala nang iba? Si Rinaldo Minjita Maklang, sir. Diyan na, sir. Andito na, Rinaldo Maklang. Anim lang. Meron pa yung iba, sir, yung mga civilian, civilian kasama. Eh, hindi. Sa, sa Philippine Pintilang, National, sir. yun sir. naka-uniforme lang. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Ito bang lahat nakita mo in person? Nakilala mo? Sa personal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nakaharap mo? Yes, sir. Nakausap mo? Yes, sir. May mga kontak pa nga ako sa kanila, sir. Nagbigay ng instruction sa iyo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nagbigay ng pera sa iyo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ito naman sa government employees, officers. Mabigat ito. Pero andito sa salaysay mo, tatanungin kita. No? Governor Roberto Uy, senior. Yes, sir. Kilala ko, sir. Kilala mo siya? Yes, sir. Kilala, sir. Yan ang... Nakaharap mo siya? Yes, sir. Nakaharap yung pag... Kung mo... ipipresenta sa iyo, makikilala mo yes, agad? Yes, sir. Kilalang kilala ko talaga yan, sir. Kung iharap ko siya yung mga picture, matuturo mo kung yes, sino sir. siya? Yes, sir. Matuturo. Yes, sir. Kilala Kinausap mo talaga siya? Yes, sir. Yung pagbigay ng reward niyan sa amin, yung paghuli kay Jose Pereira, nagbigay siya sa amin ng reward. Nakatsiksan pa kami, sir. Pangalawa, Mayor Evelyn Tangoy. Yes, sir. Kilala ko po yun, sir. Sigurado ka? Yes, sir. Kilala ko kilala mayor, ko, sir. Mayor ito? Sigurado ka? Yes, sir. Sigurado, sir. Naharap mo siya? Oh, naharap ko yan, sir. May, mayroon pa nga kami ng, pan, sir, yung recommendation sa, ano, sir, yung paghuli sa drug, sir. Sigurado ka nagsabi sa yan, sinabing salay sa iyo, na gawin mo yan? Kasi sinabi mo, inutusan ka. Yes, sir. Yung utos ni Ma'am Bilen, sir, doon na ano, i-utos kay Minjita Maklang, sir. Pero hindi siya nag-utos sa iyo harap-harapan. Nag-ano lang siya namin, sir. Nagbigay lang siya ng one, uh, accomplishment, sir, na recommendation, sir. Then, tapos nag nagsabi sa amin nga, huwag kayong matakot, huwag kayong matakot mag manghuli kasi nandyan kami sa likod nyo. Hindi, ulitin ko. Si Governor Roberto Uy, you might know him in fairness to the governor. Kilala mo siya, tama ba? Y yes, sir, yes, sir. Kilala ko, sir. Pero hindi siya nagbigay ng instruction siya na masama o nagbigay. Yung kwan lang sir pag bigay ng reward niya sa amin sir, nagsabi siya sa amin nga pag wag kayong matakot mag wag kayong matakot mag sibsayan ng kwan. Wag matakot wag ka, wag kami matakot manghuli ng kontra sa kalaban namin sir. And, pag dili mi makasu dili mi madlock makasuan sir kay Nasla sa mong luyo, sir. Hindi. An ano, anong pinahuli sa inyo? Masamang tao? Mabait na tao? Yung Kasi al alam mo, Rolly, si, si Governor nagbibigay, nakilala mo at sinabi, sa, sinabi mo, nagbigay sa inyo ang premyo. O, o, reward. O pagkatapos ng huli. Hindi. Anong hinuhuli nyo? Masamang tao? Mabait na tao? Mabait, sir. Walang, walang kwan, sir. Planting evidence, sir. Eh, 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 kung bibigyan ka ng reward... Dahil nakahuli kayo, anong masama na, so si Governor, ano ba? Kasi direkta, direk, direkta kay instruction, direkta kay Gov. Then si Sir Mack lang nang mag-utos sa amin, sir. Pero si Governor hindi talaga nag-utos. 
hindi nagutos sa amin sir pero si governor talaga ang nag ano sa amin sir na huwag kayong matakot manghuli ng kalaban natin sa politika nag nagsabi siya sa akin sir ah wala ba so ano mahirap ano kasi hindi mo narinig ni masama itong si Joyce Baliser uh, at Baya Ibaya, si sir. Ibaya. Ibaya. Sekretary ni Mayor. Kilala mo siya? Yes, sir. Kilala ang kilala, sir. Ed, Eddie Kimbo. Kilala, sir. Doon ako nag-stay in sa 2013, sir. Justin Kimbo. Oh, konsyal ng Gutalak, sir. Tumakbo ng konsyal ng Gutalak. Mayor ko, Pinpin Uy. Kilala ko, sir. Busing ko, sir. Dito, dito sa government employees ay pinili ng tao anim, wala na bang iba? Wala na, sir. Wala na, sir. Ngayon, dito sa anim na tao ito, tanong ko lang sa'yo, Mr. Witness Rolly, ano? Huwag kang mag-gumawa ng kwento kasi malalaman okay, natin okay, yan. Sir. May nag-utos ba rito sa anim na ito na gumawa ka ng masama? Meron, sir. Si Direkta? Direkta, sir. Si Colonel Maklang, Mayor Pinpinoy, Inspector Albiar. Hindi, tayo mo na. Alam mo... Ulitin ko, Rolly, ibahin mo si Philippine National Police oh, sorry, or PNP. Sir, sorry, sir. Ibahin mo rin si government employee or pinili elected official. Yes, sir. Sorry, pa. Okay. Yung pinili, ha? Kasi mabibigat itong sinasabi mo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ulitin ko ang tanong ko, Governor, Mayor, dalawa. Dito ba sa anim na tao na pinangalanan ko? May isa ba sa kanila nagbigay sa iyo ng instruction gumawa ka na masama? Meron sir si Mayor Pinpin sir. Mayor Pinpin oy. Taga saan siya? Taga, taga Dipulog sir din nakatira sa Mediatrix Torno sir. Mayor siya nang Pulangko sir sa 2013 hanggang 2016 natalo siya ngayon 2016 sir. Sa so, talo na ito siya ngayon. Oh, talo na sir. Maliban kay Mayor Pinpinoy, wala nang ibang tao na nagbigay sa'yo ng instruction na gumawa ka na masama? Meron, sir, yung PNP, sir. Hindi, maliban. Sabi ko, maliban na sa piniling tao. Wala na po, sir. Si Mayor Pinpin lang talaga, sir. Dito naman sa PNP, ulitin ko, itong anim na personalidad ng PNP, mayroon bang direkta na nagbigay sa'yo ng instruction gumawa ka na masama? Meron, sir, si Inspector Albiar, sir. Inspector? Albiar. Siya lang isa. Meron pa, sir, si Jub Jubin Parkon, then si SP1 Pactol Bertudis, sir. Sila lang? O si Rinaldo Minjita Maklang, sir. Mismo? Mismo, si Darikta, sir, si Min Minjita Maklang, si Parkon, o si Albiar, sir. O si SP1 Bertudis, sir. Kampante ka, sigurado ka, na binigyan ka ng instruction? Yes, sir, sigurado ako, sir. Sigurado ako, sir. Anong ebidensya ang pwede mo ipakita sa amin na kami maniniwala. Meron akong mga contacts sa kanila, sir, ni Mayor Pinpin, sir, o ni Inspector Albert, o ni Sir Parkon, sir, o ni Minjita Maklang, sir. Maliban sa contact, ano pa? Meron, meron, yung contact lang, sir, yung... Mayroon ka bang text na binigyan ka ng message na gawin mong masama? Mayroon ba? Kasi, sir, pag pumatay kami, sir, sasabihan man nila, sir, nga I-delete daw ang mga text message nila rin. Kasagaran magmatay kami, sir. Tawag, nila, tawag lang, sir. Okay. Ngayon, tinitest kita, Mr. Witness, kasi mabibigat tong aligasyon mo. Yes, Ulitin sir. natin. Ano? Andito ito. Marami yes, pa magtatanong sa'yo. Ano? Dito naman sa mga private individuals, 17 ito. Ang dami. Yes, sir. Roger Daligdig. Iksoon ako, sir. Itong Antonio Atupan. Yes, sir. Kasama namin, Team David yan, sir. Team David. Employee ng Dipolog City. Lloyd Paler. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glenn Juarez. Ariston Labrador. Roger Daligdig. Isa pang Roger. R Roger, wala akong na... Ano, Kalumpang? Rodel Kelumpang yan, sir. Hindi Kalumpang. Rodel, sir. Rodel Kelumpang. Alan Mirasol. Mirasol. Balundo. Janet. Jingjing Asibido Inaw. Inaw. Narciso. Dano. Crisanto. Gulang. Banoy. Dimasuid. 
Jaime Cabilando Roderick Balingit Congrado ito, pasar ka na Egalina Santos mm. Ched Ched Aplaka sir Aplaka Pidoy Oy sir Jaime Cabilando sir Dito sa ginawa nyo May pitong kaso Tama ba? Seven cases ang binanggit mo Yes sir, yes sir Seven Sa pitong cases na inutusan ka Gumawa Ano nga bang inuto sa iyo? Yung pumatay sir Then pagkatapos pumatay namin sir Si SP1 Bertulis sir Magbigay Hindi, namin Anong inuto sa iyo? Yung strapping sir At saka yung pumatay Sinabi, sinabi mismo sa iyo? Pumatay yes, ka? Yes sir, yes sir Pumatay nga sir Ulitin natin Sino ang mga pangalan ng pinatay mo? Si Arsili Barte Badin Utod Isa-isa Sampo itong tao Yes sir, yes sir. Witness ka mismo ng pinatay yes, itong sir. sampung tao. Kami pa nga ang gumagawa dyan, sir. Panilo. Soprado, sir. Edwin Estrada. Di mo na. Panilo. Susub. Soprado, sir. Soprado. Edwin. Estrada. Genesis. Ahero. Sino siya? Kuan sir, announcer sa Kuan sir, Dexepel Radio Commentator sir. Ikaw ang nagpatay? Hindi sir, planted yan sir, evidence sir. Hindi yan namatay sir, Nakakul nakakulong pa yan sir. Hanggang ngayon? Uh, yes sir. So sa pinangalanan na tatlo, sinong patay? Ito lang si Danilo? Pan Panilo Soprado o si Edwin Estrada sir. Ito si Genesis? Buhay yan sir, buhay. Buhay. Yes, sir. Pero binaril mo? Wala sir, tinutukan ko lang ng baril. Tinutukan mo lang. Oo, oh, tinutukan mo sir. Itong si Atty. Alan Ranilio sir. Atty. Michael Ahok sir. At saka si Atty. Palpagan sir. Ito, patay na dolar. Hindi sir, strapping lang yan sir. Strapping lang. Yes sir. Ito naman si Mr. Chairman, I want to validate if indeed these people were in one incident were struck. Because he's telling us that these people, uh, the three lawyers and one Genesis Ahero, may strapping incident. Is this nakablatter ba ito, PNP? Was this ever blattered? Strapping incident? Wala. Uh, sir, it happened uh, before me. But we can verify the, our records, sir. Next, Mr. Witness, ito naman si Nick. Carbonel, sir. Inano nyo ito? Strapping pa rin, sir. Strapping Yung bahay niya. Your Pangalawa. Honor, please uh, wind up. Okay. Anyway, uh, I will have the second round, Mr. Chair. Yes, yes. Uh, at least uh, I know. The, Each uh, member will certainly have a chance and opportunity to I ask. I hope the, the, the chair will allow me three more. Uh, there are three personalities. Yes, uh, As the, the, the walo, vice chair. Kapitan. Kapitan Manisig, sir. Sagutalak. O, oh, sir. Patay? O, oh, strapping. Strapping pa rin, sir. Strapping. strapping. Mayor. One red, sir. One red yan. Planting evidence yan, sir. Tapos, Paul. Okay, ulit, sir. Paul Dosdo, sir. Sa NBI. NBI, sir. Yung ingon mga kang uh, idlas kayo ni. O, idlas kayo, sir. Oh. Yung, one, kayo so, buha, rin, buhi ka ron. Buhi ka ron, sir. Mm. Now, kining napulo ka tao, Mr. Chair, to end my question, pilay gipatay ra yun. Do Duhara, sir. Duhara. Kining oh. si Panilo. Panilo Soprado, si Edwin, 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 sir. Edwin Estrada. Estrada. Meron pang, is... meron pang, kwan, sir, yung napatay namin yung sa pulang ko, si Eprin Pinado. Dito pa, sir, yung... Ad, appeal. Oh. So, there, I, I yield to the chair because there are so many more victims, to tell you. You know, it saddens me. It seems to appear that what I know of the Polog is a very peaceful place. I mean, it's a tourist destination. Not knowing that you have one product, tourist destination, which is killing. It's so ironic, Mr. Chair. Thank you so much. Thank you, Congressman Sarmiento. To... 
propound this question is Congressman Henry Waminal. You're recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Before I help, uh, ask questions to the Philippine National Police, uh, I have one question to uh, Mr. Rolly Daligdig. Kanang ngano nakasuot mang ka og WPP nga jacket? Juan, sir, pagka at, atong November 19, good sir, pagka dakop sa akong kauban nga si Maral, sir, o si Jing Jing, sir, gidakop sila, sir, gisinariwan sila, o dakop, sir. De, uh, tubag diretso sa akong pangutan. Ah, Nakakaroon sa witness protection program. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nga nung naamaka sa witness protection program, tungod ni ining imong uh, gitistify karon nga uh, affidavit. Yes, sir. Ibulgar na kong tanan, sir. Nga. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, sa imong pagkatao, wala ka ba'y kaso meron, until now? Meron, Criminal sir. Criminal case? Yung kumilikgan ban, sir, na-dismiss na po, sir. Si... Oh, sige lang, sige lang. Ay lang sa guwan. Ay balok ko nga bright kay Kamutubag. Ah, uh, so do na kay kaso pero na dismiss na. Yes sir. Komilik ganban. Yes Kano sir. Kanu sama na. Atong kuandra sir, October 2015 sir. 2015. Kalimot pizza sir. Karon tak na awa kay laing criminal case nga giatubang sa korte. Wala sir, wala sir. Okay, dagang salamat. Now I'd like to um ask question to Police Junior Superintendent uh, Edwin Wagan. Are you the Provincial Director of uh, the Philippine National Police of Sambuanga del Norte? Yes, Your Honor. Um, are you a graduate of PME or PNP? Uh, Philippine National Police Academy, Your Honor. What batch are you? 92, Your Honor. 92. Uh, when did you start or assume office as Provincial Director of Sambuanga del Norte? I was designated as officer in charge last December 12, 2015, Your Honor. December 12, 2015. Tay sige kung sakay diha sa dipulog kay maiiwas ko sa dragon sa Osami City. Daghan na dai pukang birador diha. Your Honor, eh, hindi po ako Bisaya. Uh, Tagalog uh, po ako, Your Honor. So Tagalog ka pala. Anyway, I said that sometimes I took my flight uh, via dipulog or land uh, from Manila to dipulog because I'm avoiding sometimes uh, drug lord or dragons in my place. Just I came, to, I come to know now that there are also uh, lots of hitmen uh, or some sort of that kind. Anyway, uh, so you assume as provincial director of uh, or I see provincial director of uh, Sambuanga del Norte last August 2015. December 12, Your Honor. Uh, December 12, 2015. And prior to your assumption, who was the provincial director of Sabuanga del Norte? The officer in charge then was uh, Police Senior Superintendent Ritusto, Your Honor. Come again? Ritusto. Ritusto. Uh, he was replaced by virtue of uh, was uh, uh, an expiry of the tour of duty or just uh, for the interest of public service that uh, he was replaced by you? Uh, Your Honor, with regards to the reason why he is replaced, I am not aware of that. Uh, I just replaced him, Your Honor. Uh, okay. Now, you have heard the proficient testimony of Mr. Roli Daligdig. You've been in office for more than a year? Yes, Your Honor. Have you come across with those cases, with those incidents that he committed, that he had mentioned in his affidavit? Your Honor, most of the incidents uh, happened. Uh, hindi pa po ako ang provincial director ng Sambuanga del Norte. Yung nasabi lang po niya, Your Honor, kay Alias Maral, ako na po ang provincial director noon. Okay. And what can you say about that? That case of Alias Maral, uh, Your since Honor, you are now the provincial director at that incident? Your, Your Honor, we conducted an investigation about that. Uh, I directed the chief of police of uh, Depolog 
to conduct thorough investigation regarding the death of Alias Maral, Your Honor. And what is the result of that investigation? As of now, Your Honor, we still cannot identify who are the perpetrators kasi wala pa pong witnesses kaming nakukuha, Your Honor. So, until now, there is no positive result of the investigation of the Philippine National Police? Yes, Your Honor, wala pa po kami nakukuha witness. And then what can you say with this testimony related to that uh, date of uh, alias Maral? As that, I've said, Your Honor, uh, kung, your, makaka, kung bibigyan kami ng testimonies or based on evidences... His te based on his testimony now, what can you say about it? Uh, kung bibigyan niya sa akin, uh, Your Honor, yung testimony na yun, siguro makakagalaw po yung kaso. Uh, I mean, you've been there for more than a year. You are equipped with, I think... Uh, the Philippine National Police has snappy investigators. Until now, you do not know the suspect. You have not come across of that testimony that is be, that is being narrated by uh, 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 by the witness now. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Hindi po nga sa amin binigay sa iba po niya binigay. Whereas kung sa amin po binigay ang kanyang testimony, baka po nakagalaw kami, Your Honor. Okay. But um, there is already a case filed, so therefore you have uh, you have uh, you got hold already of the affidavits that uh, he had uh, narrated today. Yes, Your Honor. Kung ibibigay po sa amin, Your so, Honor, of course. Until today, you have not uh, you don't have a copy of that affidavit. Wala pa po, Your Honor. Sa office ko wala pa po dumarating, Your Honor. Okay, so. Uh, of all those cases narrated, when you assume, I understand there was a turnover between your predecessor and uh, yourself. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and part of the turnover, were you not brave of some sensational, sensationalized cases that happens in the province of Sambonga del Norte, particularly in the city of Dipolog? Uh, Your Honor, ang nagbibrief po sa akin actually is yung investigation officer ko regarding that. O okay. And then, were you not briefed by your investigator or investigating officer of those cases which were mentioned, committed by Mr. Roly Daligdig? Uh, your Honor, uh, nasabi po sa akin yung mga cases na yon, pero wal hindi pa nga po siya nakakagalaw, Your Honor, dahil wala pa po kaming witnesses. Um, Mr. Provincial Director, the personalities mentioned by the witness are members of the Philippine National Police. Are you fully aware of that? Yes, Your Honor. And when did you know that these uh, personnel of the Philippine National Police were implicated to such crime mentioned by Mr. Roli Daligdi? Ngayon ko lang po narinig, Your Honor, yung testimony na yan. As I've said, wala pa po akong kap kopya niyan, Your Honor. Uh, so, ngayon na lang. Now that you know, what do you plan or what do you intend to do? Of course, uh, kailangan ko pong kunin siya at wi uh, as witness para po makagalaw yung kaso namin. Uh, with the information that you hear now, are you not going to do something which is within your administrative control as Provincial of Director of the Philippine National Police? Of course, Your Honor, we will be conducting investigation. Okay. Now, uh, Colonel Rinaldo Maclang was mentioned. Okay. You know, the officer mentioned. Uh, Not your, personally, but officially. Your Honor, hindi na po kami nag-abot sa Sambuang. Yeah, Gabin I know. Norte. Hindi na kayo nag-abot. But However, you know him officially. Nag, uh, for short period of time, nagkasama po kami sa Region 4A. Nagkasama kayo sa Region 4A? Yes, Your Honor. And then, these activities or these incidents which were mentioned by the witness implicating Colonel Maklang, were you brief or did you have a knowledge about this? Uh, hindi ko pa po alam yun, Your Honor. Okay. Now, I'd like to ask... Uh, Can we wind up? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, two more agencies, uh, Mr. Chair. No. Uh, I don't have um, any plan to avail my second round. So probably if I could just have uh, uh, two or three uh, questions for the other two agencies. Unless there are any objections from the members... Uh, can you limit it to two? <laughs> oh, two for the PDA and two for the NBI, Mr. Chair. Okay, please uh, try to okay. to finish it in two minutes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Now, I'd like to ask our...
um, PDA in charge in the province of Sabuanga del Norte, uh, Agent uh, Jure Rocamora. Um, since when you become the in charge of the PDA Provincial Office of Sabuanga del Norte? Uh, October 2015. Uh, October 2015. Your Honor. Yes. Um, did you read the, were you able to read the privileged speech of the Honorable uh, Halosos prior to this hearing today? Yes, Your Honor. And the PDA was implicated in the privileged speech uh, of uh, participation in the drug uh, proliferation of drugs in the province. As a matter of fact, part of the um, the privileged speech is urging the uh, your central office for the relief of the PDA, the Philippine National Police, and the National Bureau of Investigation. What can you say about this matter? Uh, at first, we are waiting for the for the formal, uh, supposedly formal. Uh, information uh, to be forwarded to our office uh, then we are waiting also for us to be uh, instructed by my higher office to in to investigate or to do uh, to to perform some uh, delegated functions re relevant to that uh, information your honor hey. Sabuanga del Norte is but there is such the way I understand with the with the speech of our uh, honorable congressman Halusos uh, parang sinasabi lang niya doon na walang action ang ang PDA but as to the perform uh, involvement kung sa sa distribution or uh, related uh, activities wala po kung naintindihan no ganun ang sa akin ang naintindihan ko lang na uh, walang action ang yeah. PDA. Yeah, kung walang action, it can be inferred that we are protecting or, you know, uh, inaction could mean many things. So, would you agree to that fact that there was no action taken by your office in relation to the proliferation of drugs in the province of Sambuanga del Norte as uh, manifested in the privileged speech of the good gentleman? Uh, I beg to disagree with that uh, notion, uh, Your Honor. Uh, kasi wala well, among we are not protecting anyone as a matter of fact nakikita makikita doon sa operation namin na walang walang pinipili kami wala kaming uh, pinipiling tao affiliation man or what yeah that's what i uh, have known of the pdia uh, i know your regional director in region 10 we have been working closely hand in hand for the anti illegal drug operations in my district okay thank you very much now this time from the national bureau of investigation uh, where last, last point uh, your yes honor. because uh, the second dist bisamis occidental is covered by the nbi uh, operations of the polog that's why i'm a little bit concerned because i had also filed separate res uh, uh, delivered a uh, separate privileged speech rel relative to the uh, drug minis in my province. But uh, uh, just a, a question to Agent uh, Paul Dosdos, who is, uh, I've known, uh, a very good agent of the National Bureau of Investigation. You probably had heard, of course, the proficient testimony of Mr. Roly Daligdig, pointing you to be one of the target, no, one of the targets to be killed by them for reason stated therein. What can you say about this, uh, Panero? Uh, good afternoon, Honorable Congressman Waminal Ozamis, uh, members of this Honorable Committee. Uh, of course, I'm a bit uh, disgusted, uh, confused, kasi pag nagtrabaho pala tayo, kasi may directive coming from Manila, to investigate and to do what I was doing there. Hindi ko naman nag-investiga doon ng sarisarili ko lang. But by virtue of direction from directive from Manila, papatahin pala tayo. And then, I am a bit frustrated also, sir, because of that. But uh, I am also inclined to believe the testimony of the Ligdig because the man he mentioned, Kabilando, Jaime Kabilando Jr., 
I was the one who filed the case against him for uh, he was the suspect in the killing of an engineer, uh, Engineer Ilurin of the uh, National Power Corporation, and the seriously wounding of his brother, PO1 Henry Ilurin, in uh, Oroqueta City. The incident happened uh, in this, at dawn of December 25, 2007, just uh, a few meters away from the city police station, sir, at a big jockey bar. That's all, sir. And as to the purpose why you should be killed, any comment in relation thereof? Uh, <laughs> I cannot give a comment on that, sir. Uh, okay. for, for the moment, sir, for the moment. Uh, uh, okay. Probably once we will have the executive session, I can propound more questions to the National Bureau of Investigation. And considering for lack of material time, Mr. Chair, I... Uh, that's all for this humble representation for the first round. Thank you very much. Thank you, <coughs> Congressman Waminal. <coughs> the next to propound question is Congressman Sagarbaria. You're recognized. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. I would like to direct my question to Rolly Daligdig, if you may. Rolly, bisaya mapugo mo rin makasinabo ito ta. Tagay taganig Cruz Oriental po ko, so kabalo ko mo binisaya. Mangutan ako ni Moroli tungon sa imong affidavit ni Sulti Mangugka nga ni sugod ka bilang usara ka kudakir. Yes sir, usa ka striker nga photographer sa Dipolog Police Station sir. Oh, so ikaw kudakir ka, ka trabaho ka diha nga nangyabuhi ka kay tungod sa pag pag pagudak. Oh, pagudak sa mga aksidente sir, mga oh. bangga sir, mga bangga. Unya uska adlaw giduol ka, gipatawag ka ni Colonel Kinsado. Colonel Maclan sir. Oh, Colonel Maclan, unya gisulti sulti an ka nga tutoy, kaya mo bang pumatay ng tao? Then yes. ito bagka. Yes sir. Kaya sir. Kaya sir. Sayon ra kay pagtubag nimo ni sulti. Kaya sir, ngano man. One man sir, one man sir gining na sayon ra ba kay oh, kaya ra nako pagpatay og tao sir. Murag kuni imong gipasabot, di ba? Kaya sa wala pa ko gisugo ni Sir Maclan, Sir, kanang pagpangudak na mo, sa, sa, sabihin, sa, tutoy, mabait ka talaga. Ganang-ganyan na ako, Sir. Tapos, huwag kang magalato, ipagkuhan mo, ipapasok kita sa GEO, sa city. And pag, yung pinaakit ako sa taas, Sir, yung sinabi na nga, kaya pumatay, siyempre, sabi ko, kaya ko, Sir, pinapramisan man niya ako, Sir. So, pagtubag ni mong kaya, Sir, wala di solusyon mo, kawagalingan nga, nahadlo ka, nga gisugo ka, Parahon, suguon ka, pagpatay o tao, usayon ra kayo? Wala man, sir, kay guts po na mo, sir, nga naayin may armas, di way mo dakop na mo, kay hipi, hipi mo mo ng amo na mo, sir. Ah, so, para sa ako, ang pananaw sa pagpatay o usga tao, para ni mo, usayon ra? Sa umpisa pa lang, sir, talagang, pag doon na sa kwan, sir, sa crime scene, sir, talagang, na, ano ka, kabahan talaga, sir, sa first time lang, sir. Pero wala kang magawa, sir. Utos ng hipi yan, sir. Ah, so, katong pagpusili mo itong gisugo ka, itong imong gisiguro, pusili mo sa ulo. Nasi mo, apit-apit na ba? Oo, oh, na, sir. Then, imo pa dyong gitiwasun sa lawas, di ba? Okay, gimanduan mo ko ni sir, maklang, oh. sir, nga, tiwasan, sir. So, wala ray, wala ray na epekto ni mo nga, ah, gisugo mo ko ini, ako na na yung buhat ng titsyo. Matong, pag gisugo ko, sir, ni buhat lang yung ko, sir, kay sugo mo ko, sir. Ah, okay. So, muna ako ang pungutan na kay nga nung mga murag sa iyon na kayo o sa uskatawo o sugo ang pagpatay o tao eh, gibuhat niya murabag walay murabag walay dua-dua no? sa gabi sa iyon natin ni murag walay sa oh, iyon walay, so, walay second thoughts ba murabag then, sa iyon na kayo ang sabi po ni Sir Mac lang Sir mga para, para lang sa bayan police matter kaya, oh. kaya ginagawa ko yun Sir para sa bayan yan ang sabi na sa akin Sir ah, okay okay Unya, sa pagsulti po ni mo sa base mo affidavit, ni sulti ka nga naikas a ah, murag ikaw mo ini murag planting ba imong plantingan si Genesis? Yes sir, yes sir. O si unsa ka daghana? Sir, kailan sir? Unsa ka daghana? Na siya bo. Kuan sir, kalimutan ko sir mga mga banabana na ko sir, walo ngadto sa ngadto sa 13 or 15 ba sir? Agis ko doon nakalimutan ko sir. Walo nga 15 nga unsa. Okay, si Glenn Quares may ga hulog sa Walo nga 15 nga gramos unsa man? Di kwan pieces Kap lang sir, pieces lang. Pieces? Oh, yes sir. Ah. Uh, Unya katupong gisugo pugga 
pagpa-plantingan o granada o fortify ba ito? O oh, sir, o oh, sir, sa so, kandilarya sir. Sa iyon ra din na kayong buha ito? Sa iyon ra sir, kay, ang purpose na mo sir sa mga sibilyan namin sir, una mi sir, ayak mo abot ang mga naka-uniform sir. Kami ang maglagay ng mga baril at saka yung mga ebidensya planting sir. Pag, pag human sir, withdraw na din mi sir, lain na din mag-search sir. Okay, kabulukan, ang utan ako ano yung pang, pangutan na ha, kay this is in aid of legislation, di ba? Ang utan na may niharap mo pa, guwa may balaod, especially karon nga usas mga dako kayong baladoon nun nga tili, among buhaton diri sa kongreso, in yung kitawag na itong death penalty. So, tungod ana, nakita na ko sa imong sulti, pag planting, o kusa ka granada, o kusa ka 45, sa iyo naman kayo, so, baling problemahan nun sa tanang mga kongresman, na pagpandapandahin ni Balahod kabahin ining uh, kabahin ining death penalty kay o plantingan ay na uskatao sa iyong raray kayo sa iyong raray sir uh, so salamat kayo no I hope that will be on record so we will be able to determine once we make the proper uh, manifestation during the deliberation of our uh, death penalty law at saan na another thing nga karon nga marag sa iyong raman ning kayo kaning para ni mo unsa may lisod One, sir, kaya naman mo planting ka unsa mga pamaagi ang lisod para ni mo nga mura ba lisod i-planting tungod kay dako siya bugat siya o unsa may nang mahibalo ko gika kung sa katawa nga eksperyensyado para ni mo para pag para pag planted ni Genesis sir nga si Glenn Quares ang nihawid dako man dako man dako man na si Glenn muntong paghawid ni Glenn then si ako yung gatiyon si Glenn ang nibutang sa drugs sa drugs. So, wala din mo yung pamaagi mga procedure sa ang pag sulod o sa kabalay o sa katawan sa ang pag-arrest. Diritso ra? Diritso ra, sir. Sipa diritso sa akuan. Kedag, sipa diritso sa portahan, sir. Then, sabi pa ni sir Mako. Malay warad of arrest. Wala tanan. Wala, sir. Wala po ninyo oh, gimension niya. Wala, wala po, sir. Katungod. Wala po tanan. Oh, kasi ang sabi niya, sir, sa amin nun, yung ano natin, tamnan natin ng ano yan, si Candelaria. Kasi parang ano yan, matigas-tigas talaga sa butalak. Wow. Then, pag pinasok namin ng bahay, sir, sabi pa ni Sir Mack lang, pag anong makita nyo dyan, kahit anong pero, sa, sa akin naman tatama yan lahat, kunin nyo. Kaya sabi ko kay Sir Mack lang nga, sir, yung aircon, kunin natin, sir. Yun, yun sa joke lang namin. Siya huwag yan, malaki kasi yan. Eh. Okay, so, katong pagbayad yan ninyo, o oh, singko mito sa Ismail? Kuan, sir. Tunggal na huwag niyong kwarta. Usahay, sir, nang matagan mo yung 5,000, sir. Usahay, usahay, sir. Allowance-allowance lang, sir. Kaya G.O. man mi sa one good, sir, sa city. Then, tapos po, sir, wala may choice. O di may pwede mo kabalibad, sir. Kaya nakaugat naman ko ni Sir Mack lang sa pagsulod na kuha ng gigas sa pagpatay, sir. Di na may pwede mo balibad, sir. So, para ni mo, ka ng 5,000 sa Smith, Igor, ha? Igor na na, sir. Then, ang silang napag-sadline na mo, sir. Kung naisadline, sir. Kung naipatumba sa mga pikas politiko, Kana dako-dako na siya, sir kay pangayuan magdako sir. So pasabot nimo pag pugsago mo pag patumba ing ana ka sayon ing ana ka klase ng pagkatao nga pasugo ra ka pa 5000 sa Ismail. Siyempre sir wala kaming takot pumatay sir kasi kasi 5000 sir kay 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 may mga pulis man sa likod namin sir. Ah, okay. Please wind up uh, Congressman Secretary. Okay so um, salamat guys imong tubag no kay nakita na ko ang ato ang pamaagi o usa ka tawo sa atong hustisya diri sa atong nasulog unsa atay na atong usbon haron maayo kayo ang atong pamaagi sa atong nasod so salamat og may hapon kaninyo ta good afternoon <coughs> okay thank you congressman uh, sagarbaria uh, the exchange of uh, conversation ay in the bisaya no and uh, i don't know if the secretariat was able to take uh, the minutes 100% in Bisaya. So, medyo uh, medyo mahirap yun. And I'm sure the Committee on Rules would probably ask us. No? Uh, siguro, eventually, before we finalize the minutes of this uh, hearing, uh, siguro, we will just uh, ask uh, for the full translation. Uh, siguro, konsultahin lang natin yung abogado para hindi na kailangan sila tumingin para walang labis walang kulang yung statement is that uh, i think that is in order so the next to interpolate is uh, congressman halusos uh, 
Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, first of all, uh, klaruhin na lang natin to, no? Let's open Pandora's box already. Medyo kumaklaro na ng konti, but I'd like to get into details. Number one, uh, from the PIDEA, Mr. Jury Recamora, what is your current status right now? Effective last uh, January 25, I was already transferred to the regional office. Region Gen 9, Samuang City. January 25? 25. Uh, parang kahapon lang yata na-relieved, di ba? Or two days ago? Hindi po. Uh, January 25. January 25. Okay. Um, in regards to the case of Maral, um, paano mo kilala, going back to Daligdig, do you know, may personal knowledge ka ba kay Maral? Sir, pakiulat, sir. Sino si Maral? Can you please explain to the committee? Si Crisanto Gulang, sir. Ano, ano yung trabaho ni Maral uh, to your current knowledge? Employee ng city, sir, din kami ang nutusan ng tigtumba sa mga droga, sir, sa mga kompetensya, sir, or one, sir, or yung sunog ng tao, sir. Kami ni Crisanto Gulang, Jaime Cabilando. Nasaan na si Maral at this point? Yan nga, sir. Eh. Pag, ano, sir, pag... Huli kay Maral, sir. Yung nahuli si Maral, sir, sa kulungan... Bisaya, bisaya lang lang, sir. Itong nadakpan si Maral, sir, sa... Itong November 19, sir. Dako na kay kong katingala, sir. Nga nung gidakop siya, sir. Dahil gawas po, sir, tao manat nila, sir. Tao manat ni SP1 Virtudes, tao ni Gobernur, tao ni Mambilin. Huwag ni Mayor Penpen, ni Inspector Alber, sir Parkon. Dahil naglibog ko, sir, nga nung gidakop man nila, nga ilam nang gisugo po nung... Pamaligya, gisugo po na nila pagpatay sa mga tao. Untong wala na mila yung siya, sir, gisugo akong gisoon, sir, nga, mangita tagpaagi, paagi, sir, nga, makuntak na to si Biola, kasi si Biola, nadunggan mo sa radyo, nga, kuan, sir, nga, ni Ibulgar. No, no, ang, ang question lang is, nasaan si Maral ngayon? Patay na, sir. Ka kailan siya namatay? 21 ng gabi, sir, nalaman namin, sir. 21. Uh, now, I'd like to direct this question to the provincial director. November 21. I know this, uh, for the indulgence of the committee, no? I was in a short course in Harvard. Uh, before I came home, I was being contacted by the certain Maral. Apparently, nahuli tong Maral na to under the custody of PIDEA and the PNP. I told him that I would, I would try my best to protect him, to bring him to WPP because he would divulge everything he knows about the drug trade and the killing in the province. 22, binaril siya. I'd like to know and like to go deeper on this uh, um, incident. Uh, PD, ano po yung investigation so far? I've also written a, rep a, a request to get into further investigation in regards to this incident. Ano po yung report ninyo? Your Honor, as I've said earlier, wala pa po kaming witnesses na kukuha relative to the case. You are an incompetent, PD. You cannot tell me that because ang dami nang namatay sa probinsya namin during your term. Number one, kay Guiko, what happened to him? Uh, Your Honor, wala nga pong lumalabas na witness. Mas maganda How about uh, Jack Chick Resentes? Wala, wala nga pong lumalabas okay. na witness. How about yung security ni Mayor Olvis na, na binaril ni, ni... Ikaw ba nakabaril doon? Si Maral or ikaw? Yun si JJ Resentes, si Maral, sir. Resanto ko lang. Hindi, yung Ako, security ni Mayor Olvis. Oh, si Junjun Lombre, sir. Si Yon. Resanto ko lang. Si, Okay. Si Budot Ubag, ako ang bumanak. Ikaw, Bumarel. Oh. Do you have any uh, leads? Uh, Your happened? Honor, i-check ko muna yung, re yung records nung kay security ni, Olvis, ni Mayor Olvis dahil uh, hindi ko naman memorized lahat okay. yung cases Let, ng Let's go back PPO. again. So far, ang sin sinasagot mo lang is wala because walang evidence, so there's nothing. Uh, I'd like to go ask again, um, Rolly, ilang tao ang pinatay mo? Sobra na sa sampo, sir. Ilang tao during with your group ang alam mo na pinatay during the time na nag-ooperate kayo sa Sampuanga del Norte? Panilo Soprado. No, no, ilan, ilan? Sa Juan Sir, sa to. Pakiulit nga yun, sir. Ha? Pakiulit nga, sir. Ilan ang pinatay to your knowledge na alam mo ng grupo ninyo, not only you, during the time na nag-ooperate kayo sa Sampuanga del Norte? Sampo, sir. Sampo or sa dosi, sir. Yung, yung dosi, sir, yung one last na dito sa... Sa sampu na pinatay, PD, during your watch, how many 
ang nasolve na cases. Uh, Your Honor, I have to check the records. As I've said, hindi ko memorize lahat ng cases. Sa dami ng cases sa buong PPO. Okay. Uh, balik ulit tayo. Uh, let me do your job for you. Um, yung nahuli si Maral, paano siya nahuli? Can you please explain? Uh, Your Honor, mas maganda siguro mag-explain ay yung COP ng Dipolog kasi... Okay, si let me target the question to who's the COP? Andaya? Okay, paano nyo hinuli si Maral? In whose authority did you use to capture Maral? Your Honor, um, it's by virtue of a search warrant that search. was uh, given to uh, given by the court to the PDEA personnel. By who? Signed by who? Who's judge? Can we have a copy of that search warrant? Uh, Mr. Chair, can we please have him secure the copy of that search warrant? I'd like to know because there are uh, mixed uh, statements. During that time, sabi nyo, by bus operation slash search warrant. So ano ba talaga? By bus or search warrant? Sir, uh, the PDEA personnel was the one who secured the search warrant. May I turn over the microphone to him? Okay. Um, Thank you, sir. Jury. Uh, Your Honor, uh, we applied for a search warrant against the couple. Then, eventually, uh, during the service of that uh, warrant, Prior to the actual implementation, we uh, we implemented or we conducted by bus operation against uh, the couple. So how how did you identify um, Maral as a suspect? Uh, matagal na to, Your Honor. Actually, uh, yeah, binabalidate namin palagi kasi namin kung ito ay kwan lang, ibang chismis lang, may sumisira lang. Then eventually, may, nak may nakuli kami na yung one, uh, 118.5 grams sa, sa torno, pulog, uh, gulayon. I'm sorry, gulayon. Makita namin doon sa text nila na mayroong exchange of messages tong one with, with the couple. So eventually, we conducted tactical uh, in uh, in interview then they had confided to us na uh, ang protector daw nila, PDEA daw. So, nag-inquire ako kung sinong PDEA. Kasi kilala ko lahat ang, ang kasama ko. Sabi niya, yung si Jingjing Jing daw. Kasi sabi niya, sir, PDEA man daw siya. So, that, that forms part of our, of our uh, case build-up eventually against her and Maral. Then, hindi lang yun. Prior to that, mayroong mga reports na they are selling drugs. Pero, uh, kasi kami sa PDI ay kailangang series of uh, validation. Test by, ginagawa namin yan. Then, another one, it, may nahuli naman kaming babae sa, kuan, sa boundary ng dapitan sa kadipulog. Then, sabi niya, Sir, nagbibigay man ako regularly sa kasama mo. So, doon naman na na, 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 na Nabigla naman tayo doon. Pwede sino ba? Sabi niya, si, si Jing at saka si Maral. Ah, pa, paano, pagka, paano pagkasabi? So, tactical uh, interview ang ginagawa namin. So, they are claiming that they are PDA agents. That is why itong mga po siya, uh, kwan sila, matapang silang nag, 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 nagbinta ng droga sa, sa buong, uh, uh, some portion of Samuanga del Norte. Dahil they are uh, portraying themselves as PDA. Then, oh, okay, okay. Uh, let me cut you. Uh, kasi mukhang malalim naman yung investigation mo you're saying. Diba? Sino pong judge? Can you name it right now? Sino yung judge na nag-issue ng warrant? Uh, judge Bastasa po. Judge Bastasa. Okay, for the record lang. Um, the incident happened on what date? Yung hinuli nyo si Maral? Uh, unfortunately, hindi ko dala yung... Okay, it happened on the 19th. At uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. Opo. Diba? Opo. Uh, ano po yung uh, protocol nyo or procedure nyo pag nahuli ang isang suspect? Kaagad? Uh, by bus operation po. It doesn't matter. Pag nahuli nyo, anong gagawin nyo? Inquest nyo? Dadali nyo sa presinto? Didetain nyo? Ano? Uh, unang una po, uh, inventory po. In, sorry? Inventory of the seized inventory. items. Okay. So, nangyari po lahat yung uh, procedure natin uh, yung nakasaad doon sa Section 21 na 9165 as amended by Republic Act 10640. 
So nandun lahat po uh, nakalatag after we have uh, inventoried the items during the buy bust we transferred to their house para sa implementation of the search warrant. No, no, no. I, I said after pagkatapos na paghuli ano ang protocol ninyo doon sa suspect? What do you do to the suspect not to the uh, evidence? Booking po. Booking? Opo. So this happened on the 19th? Opo. Kailan yung inquest ninyo? Uh, mga the, the day after apa? Uh, the day after uh, that was uh, a Sunday. Ko sure, uh, Your Honor. That was a Sunday. Ay, hindi po. Ay, hindi po yung Sunday. Uh, Saturday ata. Saturday in inquest. Uh -huh. Bakit, um, bakit, uh, who gave the order? Ah, kayo, 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 kayo nagdala kay Maral sa, were you there? Personally there? To take Opo. Maral mismo? Yes, to yes, the Honor. drug testing facility? Yes, Your Honor. What time was this? Uh, I forgot the, the, the time. 8 o'clock ng gabi. So, this 8 o'clock ng gabi, nung Monday, dinala nyo si Maral, sa drug testing facility. Doon siya binarel. Pwede nyo nga, since you admitted that you were there, can you please explain to the committee what exactly happened during that time? Uh, pagka nakinuha namin sa Dipulog Police Station. When was this? What day? Uh, Monday. Monday. Any question ng Saturday, dinala nyo for drug testing on Monday. Is that, uh, is that, um, tamang uh, procedure or protocol. Di ba, after inquest, dapat idiretso na kaagad sa drug testing? Uh, yes, I agree to that, uh, Your Honor. Uh, kaso lang sa, sa unit namin, konti lang kami. Tapos, considering na we would be traveling uh, to and fro, dipulog and dapitan kasi yung uh, opisina po namin na doon sa dapitan city. Mm. So, uh, inunti-unti po namin, may isang investigator, mayroong sa booking. So, lahat kami po ay... You had two days uh, Chief, no? Two days after the inquest, bago nyo dinala sa drug testing facility. And isn't it weird na gabi nyo dadalhin, uh, 8 o'clock, in the cover of the night? Isn't that an aggravating circumstance? Kung uh, in, Your Honor, doon po sa, sa area po natin, uh, pagdating po doon sa since 2010, wala po tayong natanggap na mga balita na na ganong risk against our ag This against person our... that you got is a suspect. High value target to. You had a thorough investigation on him. Suspect to. Who made the decision after inquest naghintay pa kayo ng two days bago nyo dinala sa um, sa drug testing facility? Uh, di, po, di ko po makuha ng timeline uh, accurately, Sino yung kausap nyo, siyempre, dadalhin nyo sa drug facility, di ba? Magko-coordinate kayo sa drug lab. Opa. Sino in charge nyo sa drug lab na yun? Na tinawagan nyo to expect na may dinadala kayong suspect for drug testing at 8 o'clock ng gabi? Ah, hindi po. Hindi po kami tumatawag uh, doon sa crime lab kasi 24 hours a day po. Siya. Ah, so walk-in lang yun? Parang, hindi, hindi po walk-in. Uh, no? Automatic po yun, uh, Your Honor protocol na po nila na walang matutulog sila, may duty sila, gabi, araw man. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, upon your recollect recollection, with the incident, syempre you were there. Yes. Diba? Can you please explain to the committee kung ano po nangyari that night bago namatay si Maral? Nung galing kami sa Dipulog City Police Station, lima kaming agents nang escort sa kanila. So, boarding on uh, crosswind, four-wheel vehicle. Nung nag-engage na kami papuntang airport road doon sa Minaog, then at the middle of that road, eh, bigla kami hinarang. Hinarang ng? Hinarang ng daming mga motor. Daming motor? Daming tao. Okay. Uh, night time. That was night time, Your Honor. Exactly. Uh, so, yung unang nakita ko, kasi ako ang nag-drive, yung palapit na yung isang motor, akala ko, eh, kwan lang, yung lasing lang na or baka naligaw lang siya kasi nandito dito ako banda sa sa left side nandoon ang island mm -hmm. ng road so akala ko i mabangga ko siya so kinabig ko sa right para hindi ko siya ma ma matamaan uh, sa matter of fact nag nag nagmura nga ako kasi nagalit ako na kasi kuwang kami papunta na kami sa crime lab tapos may nung kasi eventually hininto ako kasi baka mabangga ko yung tao yung nakamotor. Lima kayo, no? Yeah, Lima pa, which means that includes Maral and the wife. Uh, pang seven po sila. Okay, so five. Five uh, agents. Were you armed? Yes po. Uh, okay, continue. Then eventually, uminto ako. Pagka, 
pagkuan ko pag pull up ko sa kuan sa sa handbrake yun na biglang putok na so biglang di, putok where uh, from from somewhere hindi eh, ko makita your honor so you were driving tapos biglang hinarang ka when you pull on the side may pumutok unang uh, natamaan is who t- tinutukan mo na ako nung akala ko ah, akala lasing, tinutukan ako sa, sa harapan ko so, hindi sabi mo hinarang ka and then you pulled on the side Diba? Yes, uh, right Wala side. ka sinabi, I'm sure you would recollect kung tinutukan ka muna bago ka you pulled on the side. You said, and it's on record right now, na hinarang ka, pagharang sa'yo, you pulled on the side, nakarinig ka ng putok. Sino yung pinutukan nila? Uh, Your Honor, uh, let me kuan, arrange the timeline kasi pag ganun kasing sitwasyon, Your Honor, <laughs> hindi, po, hindi po photographic memory po ako doon pagdating doon. Talagang putok-putok ka na, Your Honor, I could not give you the accurate uh, recollection. If someone Honor. points a gun at me, like what happened during election, matatandaan ko certain time, face, even the smell of that time. So don't give me that uh, excuse ah, na hindi mo matatandaan yan. If I point a gun at you right now, imposible na hindi mo matatandaan kung tinutuwa ka kita o hindi. Ang, ang sinasabi ko po, Your Honor, kanina, na pag, pag kabi ko dun sa right, kuminto ako. Oh. So pag, pag hinto ko, yun na, sunod na ang pagtutok sa akin, tapos putok-putok na lahat. Putok-putok? Hindi, oh. How many shots were fired? Hindi ko po ma... Kuan, Your Honor. Hindi, hindi, ko, hindi, po hindi mo alam? Dami po, Your Honor. So out of five people that were there, which means five security, dalawang suspect nyo, ang natamaan lang yung suspects? Eh, Sabi mo, madaming putok. Hindi po, makumaka, ako kasi ang nag-drive, Your Honor. Exactly. Nasa, nahan, so please explain what happened. Medyo um, ang daming inconsistencies eh. Madaming putok, ang natamaan lang yung suspect. Lima kayo. Na isang tao walang natamaan sa inyo? Mr. Chair, can we also... Sorry to interrupt, uh, Representative Falasos. Can we also have an idea where the agents were sitting and where the suspects were sitting in relation to the agents? Because if what Mr. Rocomora is saying na tinutukan siya, tapos nagsabahin, nagputukan, eh pag nasa mga bintana yung mga suspect, eh di siyempre silang unang natamaan. Eh pero pag may agent sa, sa bintana, eh nasa gitna yung suspect, Hindi naman ako maniniwala na hindi natatamaan yung mga yung mga agents pag pinutukan na yung yung sasakyan. So, can we have a clarification ng Mr. Yeah, Okamura? Uh, yes, tama. Yes po. Um, Meron Chair. po kaming incident report nito. Uh, sana ma, ma, ma refresh No, I don't ako. want to listen to the incident report because you were there personally. So, I'd like to hear. This is a hearing right now and you're here. That's exactly why we called the people who were involved and who were there. So, you can present and explain to us exactly Word per word, second per second, kung ano talaga nangyari nung time na yun. So can you please explain to me, uh, ano ba talaga nangyari? Please uh, compose yourself and fix every yung timeline kung paano niya nangyari yung nangyari. Sige daw. Opo, uh, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Nung pag uh, nag-write na ako, umabig na ako sa write, tapos uh, biglang huminto, huminto ako kasi baka mabangga ko siya. So biglang tutok sa akin. Hmm. Sigawan na, sigawan doon. Uh, actually yung iba nagtagalog sigawan sila na Anong sinigaw na labas da pa labas da pa pero ma- talag- talagang very quick ang, ang nangyari your honor uh, pagkatapos nung sigawan na ako talagang nabigla ako kasi ako ang nagdrive nung tapos tinutukan akala ko putok na nga tatamaan ako so uh, fortunately walang putok sa akin nag kuan Putukan na. Pagputok-putok doon. Uh, how many shots did your group fire? Ah, hindi po kami naka, naka-retaliate. Eh, so, madami nagputukan. Uh, like uh, what Congressman Sambar said a while ago, ano po yung seating placement or yung location ng suspe- suspect during that time? Kasi imposible naman pinaupo mo sa harap, di ba? Bakit out of five people, ang natamaan lang ang dalawang suspect sa ulo? Uh, yung ako po, driver... Tapos yung nasa tabi ko, yung kapwa ko agent. Hmm. Tapos sa likod, uh, si Maral, yung lalaki, banda dito sa right. Hmm. Tapos sunod, sunod yung babae. Tapos yung sa li- immediately likod ko, yung agent ko. So yung pinababa kayo, nagputukan muna or pinababa kayo kagad? Pinababa kami, Your Honor. Pinababa oh. kayo. And, Labas, uh, dapa. You guys had uh, firearms. Opo, yes po. Wala po sa training ninyo sa mga ganyan when you transport a suspect tapos may humarang, wala nga pong nag-isip na mag-retaliate, bumaril. Anong pagkatapos noon, Your Honor, uh, may nag sa kasama ko kasi papunta sa doon sa pabalik sila. Kaya, kung ko, sabi ko, wag na, 
Kasi inisip ko doon, ako ang team leader kasi, inisip ko doon, pag mag kami, tapos maraming motor kasi, hindi namin alam kung saan ang direksyon ng baril namin. Baka meron lang... Hindi kayo trained. Siyempre, pag binabaril ka, dapat nakatutok sa bumabaril sa'yo. Why wouldn't you know where to shoot from? The bullets coming from one direction, dapat binaril mo na rin sila. Lima kayo eh. Uh, hindi po kami nakaporma, Your Honor. Yan po ang... Exactly. So, pinababa kayo, and then uh, please Pinadapa continue. Po. Pinababa kayo. Yung mga baril nyo, nakatago uh, lang sa inyo. Naka... Yung baril namin, ang iso po sa kasama ko, nakasukbit. Sa akin, nakasukbit lang dito. Okay. So, hindi ka bumunot? Ay, hindi na po. Uh, talaga pong pagtutok sa akin, ang life preservation sa sarili ko po yung naisip ko eh. Sabi ko, patay na ako. And after nun, pagtutok sa'yo, hindi ka yung Kumuha, binaril. Uh, Hinanap nila yung dalawang suspects na kilalang kilala siguro nila, and binaril sila from the back ah uh, hindi po from the back kasi kung anyway ang ang suko po ang makapagbigay ng trajectory doon sa report nila your honor exactly pero as of now makapag- wala pa rin pong report i have already requested for an in-depth investigation on this matter and up to now wala pa rin kaya po ako i'm using this uh, time and opportunity to ask you this question because until now this is unsolved crimes and tumabigat sa akin because before i came home from the us i spoke to them already na ilalantad Lahat-lahat na alam nila. And during that time, I also have information na nag-meeting kayo sa governor's office with PD, you yourself, uh, your COP, and, uh, and um, some personnel. Now, being the PDA officer, isn't it your duty to protect Maral since he is your suspect? Yes po, kabi po ang kustudyan sa kanila. So ang sinasabi mo sa akin, because you wanted to protect your life, pinabayaan nyo sila, Hindi kaya bumunot na isang putok. Madaming putok going to your direction and ang natamaan lang si Maral. Pasensya po, Your Honor. Uh, medyo ang inaalala namin doon talagang ang sarili namin. Uh, a- ako rin. I was, um, I was ambushed during my time eh, uh, on my campaign. Na Maril pa ako eh. And uh, uh, when things happen like that, when, hindi ka matatakot eh. In fact, magagalit ka eh. Kasi yeah. binabaril ka na nga eh. And it's your duty and weren't you supposed to be trained to defend and protect your suspect, bakit ganun nangyari na biglang namatay yung, pa, yung suspect nyo? Yeah, yun nga, Your Honor. Uh, yung inaalala namin, particularly ako personally, na yung buhay ko po. Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to request lang an official uh, investigation in depth on this matter. Because uh, so far, I've met with all the other agencies, with PDEA, I've spoken to your uh, director, with PNP, with NBI, and everyone. And so far, up to this point, wala pa pong nagbibigay ng klarong um, uh, report on what is happening on the ground. This is why nagpapasalamat ako sa kay Honorable Chair for us to expose this and for us to, to know how deep this goes. Now, Before you brought uh, Maral sa lab, who gave you authority or who gave you an order to bring him to the lab? Uh, part po ng procedure namin, uh, Your Honor. Ang part ng procedure nyo, after inquest, dadalin ka agad. So you can't use that as an excuse. Uh, Ang po. tinatanong ko, who ordered to bring Maral at 8 o'clock ng gabi to the drug facility? That was my discretion, Your Honor. Your discretion? Ikaw lang mismo? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, Mr. Chair, with the kind indulgence of the Honorable uh, Halosos, one, um, uh, one question lang, follow which probably ahead, you missed. Congressman. Uh, w- 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 what were the firearms used by those people who killed Maral? Uh, di, di po namin, hindi ko pa masabi, Your Honor, kasi ang suko po ang uh, competent doon. No. Okay. You mean, uh, tinutukan kang po ng baril? Hindi mo alam kung anong klaseng baril yung tinutok sa iyo? Okay. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Uh, kung yung pagtutok sa akin, ang, hindi ko rin mako, kasi nakatutok sa akin, Your Honor. Uh, no, handgun, just, handgun. Ha, ang, is it uh, uh, M- M16? Or? Ay, hindi po. Short po. Uh, short. What about the companion? Uh, uh, Ay, hindi ko baril? po nakita, Your Honor. Kasi nasa harapan lang yung... So, hindi kita. mo nakita? Lima kayo? tapos ang short arms lang yung dalawang some sort of uh, yung suspect pagkatapos you were not able to react uh, that's all uh, uh, Mr. Chair just for the record 
thank you, Congressman. Continue. Uh, Mr. Chair, can I interject and have the R really quick lang no? Okay. Uh, going okay. back to the, before I forget. Um, ang procedure ng PNP after a violent death like that, uh, since wala kayong mga ibang suspects, but you, weren't you subjected for a paraffin test or your guns subjected to check kung yung calibers ba ninyo uh, mag, uh, can, uh, is um, connected to the bullet found in the body? Yes po. Uh, so you were subjected to a paraffin test? Yes po, at saka yung ballistics examination. And ballistics ano. examination. Okay. Can yes you also po. have a, a copy of that? Uh, sa soko po. Uh, oh, sige, we will request. And, uh, 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 let me just interject, uh, Congressman Sir. I'd like to interject. Uh, para bago kong makalimutan. Kasi ang tanong, bakit gabi nyo tinatransport para, para mag-drug test? Ganun ba yung SOP, gabi? Uh, Your Honor, hindi po, uh, wala pong nag-restrict sa amin na sa gabi. Actually, uh, hinahabol namin dahil ang, ang inquest po ay may, mayroon pong reglementary period po. Hinahabol po namin na maka, makasubmit kami ng mga ebidensya. Yeah, but it took you two days bago nyo, bago nyo dalin eh. Uh, hindi po, uh, dalawang kwan yun. Sunod-sunod po yun. Uh, pagkatapos namin mag-file lang sa prosecutor, pagka umuwi kami sa Dapitan City, nandun ang opisina, uh, pinap ang request na naman ang pinaprocess namin, balik kami kasi kumakain din kami, uh, Your Honor, sa, sa panakuan namin, hapunan. Balik din kami sa Dipolog. Tapos pagdating naman si Dipolog, request namin sa desk officer na i-withdraw namin for drug test. Yun po ang normal na kalakaran po namin, Your Honor, doon sa banda po doon. Kahit gabi, madaling araw po, ang nag-receive po ang, ang crime laboratory po. Mr. Chair? Congressman Zagarbaria? Uh, my question is, you said there were multiple shots, right? Yes po. And all these multiple shots just went to Maral? Uh, hindi po ako makapagsabi, uh, Your Honor, ang suko During po ang... The, the result of the investigation, let's say six, seven, or eight shots were fired, and all this went to Maral? Nothing went to... That was hit by the... That hit the, the vehicle that you were driving, to that effect? Uh, natamaan po ang vehicle po namin, Your Honor. How many of these? Do you have an idea? Uh, I did not, uh, did not mind... How many out. shots did Maral... How many bullet wounds did I, I cannot around? speculate on that, Your Honor. Speak. Okay, thank you. Uh, teka, uh, teka, teka. If I may again. No? Sure, Mr. Chair. Meron bang police report yung incident na yun? Yes, Your Honor. Nakarating po sa amin yun. And uh, as I've said earlier, I directed COP Dipolog to conduct investigation. Okay, just for the information of the honorable members of the committee, kasama na rin si Roca Mora. Nakita mo ba kung ilan yung taong humarang sa inyo at bumaril? Uh, hindi ko po mabilang yun, pero marami pa. Sa report, anong nakalagay sa report, sa police report? Uh, I-check ko muna po, Your Honor, yung details niyo. Ilan yung tama ni, ano, ni Maral? Ang, ang hindi ko legal, legal lang po nakakaalam, Your Honor. Hindi ko po. Hindi. So, uh, right after the, in, the shooting incident, umalis na yung suspects. Di ba? Opo. Nasaan ka? Uh, doon na po sa, Your Honor. Nasa, anong ginawa mo? Na, kinun, uh, ki, kuha namin, kinundo namin ang area. Walang, walang... Hindi mo tinignan kung buhay pa, humihingi pa yung binalim. Hindi, tumawag ako immediately, Your Honor. Pero pagtingin mo, humihinga pa siya. Uh, hindi namin nalapitan, Your Honor. Tumawag ako kaagad. Kasi sa amin kasi, uh, hindi kasi kami ang, ang mag-process ng crime scene. So, we, I opted not to touch yeah, anything. Right. It, you know, um, following the, the, the flow of uh, thoughts of uh, our proponent, si Congress Malusos, it seems na hindi nyo alam yung... You, these, are, these are incidents that happen in your jurisdiction, na uh, PD. But parang hindi mo alam. Your Honor, alam ko po ang nangyayari sa area ko. Hindi ko lang po memorize lahat sa dami mo po ng nangyayari. Ito po yung report no, sa akin, for, Your for Honor. A, for an Twelve incident, armed men yung gumawa noon. Listen, Ito for po. an incident like this, PD, <laughs> hindi mo alam to? Hindi mo alam yung detalye? Alam ko po, Your Honor, yung pangyayari. Hindi ko lang po, Submit Your Honor. Submit to us the copy of your police report. Ha? Yes, At Your Honor. At saka yung investigation. Di ko yes, naman, dahil mong paikot eh. Huwag ka magpaikot dahil hindi, hindi naman ka pa di maniwa. Mag-invento ka ng tamang sagot para maniwala kami. Kasi, you know, if you do not know exactly what's going on in your jurisdiction, in your area, you have no reason to be there. Your Honor, alam ko naman po. O, eh, yun na nga. Ano, ilan tama si Maral? Your Honor, hindi ko na po memorize oh, yung eh, details. Simple na... question like that. Anong baril ginamit? Uh, hindi na man po na-specify lahat. Anong oras nangyari? 
Ah, gabi po yun. Saan yung, nangyari? Doon sa papuntang airport. Area mo, malapit ba sa police station yan o hindi? Malayo. Your Honor, hindi ako sa police station, sa police provincial office uh, po ako. Is there any police station near or proximate to the, to the place of incident? Uh, medyo you malayo na yun po, Your Honor. You know, I'm sorry, I had to be <laughs> passionate Mr. Mr. about Chair. this because I really do not, do not subscribe and understand yung mga sagot mo. You don't know, M Mr. Chair. hindi mo pa alam, may report... Mr. Agal Chair, na nangyari, hindi mo pa rin alam. Mr. Chair, yes, okay, man, one minute, Mr. Mr. Chair. You know, Mr. Chair, I still have the the the, the floor. Can, can the, with the kind indulgence of yes, Congressman I'm Ellis. To, uh, one minute just, lang. just one minute, Congressman. Very Sig important. Okay, okay. You know, we are, we are here, members of the legislature, passionate public servant at that. We are trying to do something about the betterment of the country, much more our constituent. Listening from all of this, we wonder what enforcement agency shall we go to if ever we need the assistance. You know, it is so frustrating. Again, I am at a total loss. I'm hoping that General Reyes here will present this because we just had a very sad incident inside Kamkrami itself. Now, this is only one region, Region 9. How about the other regions? Again, we have to take this seriously. We have to get back the trust of our constituents. That's all, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, going back to... Uh, uh, thank you, Congressman Sarmiento. <clears throat> uh, yes, Congressman Adusos. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm going to end soon. No? I'd, I'd just like to ask you, uh, PD. Um, so, what are you waiting Witness? Before you conduct an investigation? Yes, Your Honor. So, pag walang witness, uh, ano pong gagawin natin? Uh, Siyempre, we are still validating who can be witnesses to that incident. Let's say walang witness. Anong gagawin? So, wala. We will be waiting wala. for witness, Your Honor. Um, General Reyes, I, actually, I have been uh, requesting numerous times to uh, relieve the provincial director pending the investigation due to his incompetence and his work sa probinsya. So far, PD, wala ka pang naibibigay sa akin na konting lead sa mga pag pagpapatay doon sa probinsya natin. PD, have we met before? Hindi tayo nag-met before, Never. Your Honor. You've been there 2015. After, yes, uh, after there was a shootout during my campaign, did you even attempt to call me to ensure me that the safety of the district or the province is secure? Hindi tayo nagmimit your honor kasi No, I don't have to, to call you eh. Ay, Trabaho mo yan eh. You should have went to me and ensured me that the safety of my people and my mayor w is under your command. Your honor, apprehensive akong lumapit sa'yo because maraming nasasabi sa radyo against me. No, so, yung radyo noon wala pa. Don't, wag, don't, wag mo balik-balik ta rin. Nag-usap na tayo. Nag-media na tayo before eh. Sinagot mo nga sa akin eh. Sinabi pa nga ni Governor Bertuoy na anghel ka daw niya. Why is that? Can you expound on that? Ba't ka naging anghel? Hindi ko lang ma-alab your exactly. honor kasi... Oh. So, since 2015 up to this point, 2017, we have never met. You have never had a, uh, a um, uh, courtesy call sa office ko. You never called me. You never uh, reached out. And to tell me that you're the provincial director of the province in charge of uh, all the security and everything that happens in the province. Do you understand that I'm still the congressman up to now and this is going to be my last term? And up to now, you still haven't talked to me, even after the shootout. Ngayon lang tayo nakita, eh, di ba? Your Honor, alam ko, late last, uh, last month, parang nag... Ano ako, kaya lang na-turn down naman. Yes, because I talked to uh, your very good regional director and I told him about it, that you are only a lapdog of the governor. Uh, right now, uh, there are still so many things that we have to expose, and dami. And um, I, I think we're going to need uh, a couple more hearings uh, in regards to this. No, this is only one topic. We still haven't touched the topic of the NBI, and we still haven't touched the topic of the PDEA. Uh, for now, that is all. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Congressman Lasos. Uh, for the information of the honorable members that are still here, uh, after the, the, the interpolations, uh, we, uh, we, we will call for an executive session 
with the National Bureau of Investigation. So if there are no other questions, uh, you, Congressman Tevez still has a lot of questions to ask. You're recognized, Congressman Tevez. Yeah. Can I request that? Because nagdududa na ako sa mga sagot dito eh. Pwede, uh, Mr. Chairman, can I ask that these people be put under oath? Mr. Chairman, can I ask that these people that I will ask questions be put under oath? I'm concerned about I want to ask Rocamora, Wagan, Beltran, Reyes, and all these police here on this side. Okay, please, uh, Comsec, Can, Comsec. please uh, administer the oath of the following uh, witnesses. Ito dito, from Virtudes to Parcon, and all the police officers here, including Pidea. May I ask the resource person's name to please stand up and raise your right hand? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, uh, sir. I'm a police superintendent at Chuila, one of the resource speaker. As of now, I have a uh, pending case in the ombudsman, sir. And uh, I think uh, it would be incriminatory for me to answer the questions uh, about this case. Considering that I have a pending case in the Ombudsman. How sure are you that I was going to ask you about this case? Why are you very defensive? Uh, How sure are you that I was going to ask you about this case? What sir, if I just ask about police protocols? Sir, uh, that is only my manifestation, so I would like to manifest it to the body. Boss, that, uh, ngayon palang maputla ka na, oh. I would just... Uh, testify on the matters which is uh, not related to the uh, case, sir. Mr. Chairman, I think this my, police uh, officer is disrespectful of our committee. And I reiterate my move, Mr. Chairman, that they be put under oath. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If uh, Superintendent Hachuela feels that uh, the question that is being asked of you is pre uh, uh, sub will uh, incriminate you, then you have all the right uh, not to answer the question. However, we would just like to put you under oath as requested by Congressman Tevez because uh, this is a inquiry that uh, uh, we would like to uh, uh, generate a legislation from. So uh, we, that is necessary in this uh, committee hearing. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. The resource person's name to please stand up. And since uh, all of you have been acknowledged Sube earlier, so sabay sabay na lang po siguro, please raise your right hand. Please state your name. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this congressional inquiry? You may sit down. Okay. Thank you. I would like to reiterate, ha? request ko lang. Magsabihan lang tayo dito ng totoo, ha? Huwag na tayo magbulahan, ha? Huwag na tayo magbulahan. Unang-una, can I ask Parcon, Alviar, and Vertudes, and Hachuela, bakit ang puputla niyong apat habang nagsasalita si Rolly? Isa-isa lang. No, really. And Alviar is very agitated and uh, masyadong maputla. Um, Can Your I ask each of you to answer? Your Honor, may I formally enter my appearance as uh, Assistant Counsel of uh, Police Senior Inspector Alviar, Superintendent Hachuela, and uh, SPO1, SPO2 Verdugues, Your Honor. My name is Attorney James Verdugues, Your Honor. Yeah. Can I get an answer? Because I would like to proceed with my questions later. So, good afternoon. Uh, short lang, short lang. Ayan. Kinakabahan, so, nilalamigan, gutom. Nothing, Your Honor. Uh, okay. I am confident to my... Ano, okay. Uh, may satba, Thank you. Honor. Next. Uh, I am Police Senior Inspector Edison Francisco Albiar. Uh, probably, sorry, this is my first time to, to be here, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I am Superintendent Natsuila. It is my first time to uh, attend the hearing, and uh, I am not uh, 
implicated in the uh, statement of uh, the leak dig, sir. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I'm Espio Toroy Pactual Bertolis. And ano lang, sir? Nalamigan lang po, sir. Okay. Anyway, I just like to manifest that um, according to my observations, all their lips are very blue, no? Re in re um, compared to most of the people in this in this room, no? So I don't know if the temperature of the air conditioning on that side is colder than how we feel here. It's just a manifestation. Okay. I'd like to ask Mr. Wagan. kung bakit hindi nyo nalalaman itong nangyayari. Very short lang. Your Honor, kung gusto mo po ay basahin ko yung report dito. Sabi ko lang kanina, hindi ko memorized lahat yung okay. details. Pero I have the report here now. Pwede ko pong basahin Your Honor sa No need, no need. Mr. Chairman, nakikita ko kasi dito that we have a very incompetent provincial director or police officer. Hindi ko maintindihan why this guy lasted for the last um, several months or more than a year na hindi siya nagkukurtisiya sa congressman ng area at sa dami ng dinami-dami ng nangyayari na wala siyang alam Yung ibang ang maliliit na polis, one strike policy, tanggal na. Ito, several strikes, ang daming krimen. I'd like to address my question to General Reyes. Do we tolerate these things in the PNP? Uh, no, sir. Uh, as to... Yeah, it's very... It's usually customary to a new officer that has been assigned in an area to pay a courtesy call to all the elected uh, officials, sir. Okay, General, uh, Mr. Chairman, again addressed to General Reyes. You are with the intelligence group of the PNP, correct? Uh, no, sir. I, uh, I am assigned with the investigation and okay. detective management, sir. Investigation and detective. Uh, detective management. So more or less, it, it gathers intel and processes intelligence information, right? Uh, no, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. Uh, Na, no? Different, uh, the main function of the office is to supervise the investigation of all the uh, uh, cases that happen. Kaya nga, saan galing yung investigation nyo kung walang intel? Uh, from the investigators, Your Honor. Yun nga. Uh, still, uh, you, you will be working on information gathered from the ground so you can do your inve investigation, correct? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yan, okay. Kailan nyo pa nalaman itong pangyayari kay Wagan? Or sa, sa lugar nila? Kahapon lang, ngayon lang, nung isang taon? Uh, Your Honor, uh, it has been on our record, Sina, because the incidents, uh, the alleged incidents uh, what happened in 2009. So it is already in our database in the investigation. And as to these cases, uh, I only came the, uh, to know about this because it has brought out to my attention today uh, during the hearing. I was only also assigned last year in the Directorate for Investigation. One year, one year na ho kayo? Wala pa po, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to request that they explain to this committee in writing on why Superintendent Wagan has been retained in the area in spite of all these events that have transpired in that province. So move, Mr. Chair. Okay, there's a motion. Julie seconded. Let me just state for the record kung ano yung motion. The motion is... Can you please help yeah, me? Yeah, that, that the... That the... The leadership of PNP from whoever department sub submit to this committee a written document on why Wagan has been retained in that in his jurisdiction in spite of all these unsolved crimes and all these other incidents. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Tevez, for helping me rephrase the 
the motion. The motion is uh, to ask the PNP leadership uh, the reason why uh, Superintendent uh, Wagan was uh, retained as the provincial director of the province of Sambuanga del Norte in spite of the unsolved uh, crimes that have been happening within his juris jurisdiction during the period where he was appointed. Uh, is that... Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. So, Mr. Chair. May I continue, Mr. Chairman? Let me just uh, uh, dis dispose of the motion yeah. first. Be before we dispose of the is motion... Is this an amendment? Yeah. The Not an amendment, just a comment, Mr. Chair. Yes. In uh, relation to the motion. Uh, Congressman Waminal. Um, while I am not opposed... Um, I'm not against with the motion, but I'm just trying to look at on how could we harmonize uh, the approach in relation to our intention so that uh, it is not in a manner that we are now leading the, the, uh, the leadership of the PNP to make an explanation. On the other hand, the regional director of uh, PRONAI, who has the control and supervision of the all the provincial directors and the COPs within his area of jurisdiction, uh, probably if the matter can be acted within his label, so that probably I'll ask uh, R.D. Biltran if uh, uh, when was the first, uh, when was your uh, assumption of office, because probably if you have assumed office at the time where this incident happened, then you, we can probably uh, come up with an action now that uh, pending investigation of this, you can do something so that uh, we can excuse or we can relieve our hierarchy, the nation, uh, the PNP leadership of coming up so with such explanation with this uh, uh, with this committee. Uh, Mr. Chair, with the kind indulgence. May I continue, Mr. Uh, Chairman? Okay, thank you, Congressman Minal. Before we dispose of the motion, uh, there was a comment from uh, Congressman Waminal, and I would like to ask the proponent of the motion whether uh, he has uh, something to say with yeah. the comments of uh, Congressman Waminal. You're recognized, Congressman. Definitely. That's why I ask for all these documents because, again, may I remind my colleagues here that we are here for an investigation in aid of legislation, not even to pinpoint who is at fault or not even to pinpoint on the details of the case. That document that I have been, that I am requesting will help me or us in this committee formulate a legis um, legislation to be able to solve all these things that's happening in the PNP. And with regards to the matter on the PD, I mean on the RD being able to relieve the PD, I don't know if Pro 9 has a different set of rules, but during my request to have my corrupt PD relieved from our province, I was told that the RD did not have the capacity to relieve the PD because it had to come from orders of the chief PNP. And that is all on record that I was told that during this time of the new administration, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Yeah, um, um, I understand the sentiments of the distinguished gentleman from Negros Oriental, but basing on my experience in my province for the year 2016, the uh, katatlong PD na ako. Yeah, proper um, uh, observance of procedures, the RD relieved the PD uh, at a given time. So why not just we hear first the wisdom of the regional director Pro9? He is here probably matter can be acted within his jurisdiction. It might be a different situation that happens in uh, the in IR. No? But uh, as I said, if, um, we can harmonize and solve in the committee level with these uh, designated officers by the PNP chief, then it's much better. The action is already here. What if uh, uh, General Beltran would say pending investigation of this matter, he will now uh, probably uh, relieve for the meantime or uh, to allow the investigation to run smoothly with the PD and the COP of the Pulog, then that solves the matter. Yes. Instead of letting PNP chip explain for the retention. Uh, that is the uh, positive outlook of this humble representation, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman, if I may continue. 
Okay, Congressman Tevez. Granting that the PRO9 PD, I mean RD, has or will have the capacity to relieve any PD within his region, then there will be more explaining that will be needed from the hierarchy of the PNP because I would not be able to comprehend on why there are different set of rules for different set of reg regional directors. Kung sa kanila pwede, sa amin hindi, then the more documents I will be requesting to explain on the, dispa uh, the differences in rulings or in the set of rules that they are implementing. Okay, thank you, Congressman Tevez. Let us hear from yes, uh, Mr. General uh, Beltran on uh, what he can uh, say about uh, the request. Good afternoon, uh, sir. Mr. Chair, before he will answer, will you please uh, see a little uh, background of yourself? What uh, yes, anong year ka sa PMA and when did you assume office as regional director so that it can give uh, clear guidance to all members present. Thank you, sir. I am Chief Superintendent Billy Beltran. I belong to PMA class of 1985. I was assigned as the uh, regional director of uh, Police Regional Office 9, June 3, uh, last year, sir. And um, about the question whether uh, we, as uh, superior officers, are aware about the incident that uh, occurred. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a system that... Uh, enables us to, uh, the region-wide, we have a system that enables us to uh, get to know almost everything that's happening, especially crimes that are happening in the entire uh, jurisdiction. Now, uh, that is an, a system in place where there's a journals or a text messages that was sent to us by the provincial director informing us about these incidents. Now, uh, as to the question whether, as to the question, sir, kung bakit uh, nare-retain, sir, uh, medyo hindi po ganon kadali ang uh, decision para sa amin to remove him immediately. Dahil nga po, uh, I still have to also, be, being the regional director, I still have to consult the governor. I still have to see yung kanila pong mga performances, not hindi lamang po doon sa particular kaso na yon, kundi yung entire na um, aming pong uh, uh, nangyayari sa, uh, Sambu sa Sambuanga del Norte. Particular po itong uh, campaign against illegal drugs. The chief PNP was very explicit. Binigyan niya po kami ng authority, ang mga regional director, particular sa droga, sa campaign against illegal uh, drugs, you can remove on your own authority mga provincial directors that are not performing uh, yung kanilang uh, mga duties. And uh, looking, sir, sa performances po naman ni provincial director Wagan, if uh, we, I am prepared to present to you, sir, uh, accomplishments po ng the entire uh, regional uh, command. In fact, uh, we were uh, we were as pro-9 po, we were uh, commended by the Directorate for Intelligence for being among the best performers po uh, as far as illegal uh, campaign against illegal drugs is concerned. Kaya ko pagkapagtitingnan ko po and I will weigh lahat ng mga issues whether to relieve him or not, hindi po ganon kaagad ka, uh, kabilis po. Mr. Chairman, may I continue? Yeah, I still have the floor. Yeah, I still have the floor, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Basing on, on the statement of the RD, no, it's very obvious that political reasons has be, have been considered. No? Anyway, the legislation that I would like to make later is that um, concurrence of PDs should be spread not only with the governor, but it should be spread also between the, the, the district representatives should also be consulted. Anyway, let me continue, Mr. Chairman. I was listening to Jury Rocamora Kanina. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, you have a pending motion which has to be disposed. No? Mm. Hindi na disposed yun sa comments ko. Mm. No? So we have to dispose it. But uh, before we finally dispose it, mayroon lang akong uh, response to the manifestation of the uh, RD Pro 9. So that, uh, that is needed. No, that is needed in disposing mm. your motion. The, uh, this is relevant. Uh, 
with the kind indulgence of the distinguished uh, gentleman of Negros Oriental, because you have you have there a good reason for your motion. I am just trying to come up with more or less a, a, a harmonized or a diplomatic way of attaining the goal of your motion. But uh, considering the response of uh, RD Pro 9, I might probably withdraw my comments and post through with your... But uh, before that, uh, I'd just like to refresh the good uh, regional director, uh, General Beltran. Your reasons that you were not able to, re uh, to relieve your PD because you, ne you need to have consultation with the provincial governor. I think um, we have to revisit the provision of the local government code that the consultation of the provincial governor, the consent of the local executives in PD and COP are only for the appointment of regular PD when nominated by the National Police Commission. It is within the power of the Philippine National Police to relieve the PD any time with the cause arise. Now, the issue is here by the two gentlemen is that there are, there, there are cases that happen under his care. With your respect, no question with his accomplishment as you had manifested. But there are cases that happen under his care, sensational cases, complicated cases, drugs, murder. So, uh, and more so that in these cases, the provincial um, executives and other local officials were implicated. This is the situation where the power of the Philippine national leadership, and in this case delegated to you as regional director, to take the appropriate action uh, with or without the consultation of the provincial uh, executive concern. Uh, 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 as you are fully aware, um, based on the testimony and the cases filed, uh, local officials in uh, the provincial governor was implicated. And I would just like to tell you that in my province, uh, I said there were uh, many uh, provincial directors which were pulled, up, pulled out without the consultation of the governor. And you can even please a provincial director, an OIC provincial director, without the consent of the provincial governor on, on extreme cases like that. So that if you can probably exercise that power, then I will not, um, I can probably uh, convince my colleague to withdraw his uh, motion. But if not, then I, 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 I would yield to the sound discretion of my colleague. Okay. Um, one minute suspension. One minute break. May I continue, Mr. Chairman? Okay, session. Uh, this committee hearing is resumed. Okay, uh, Congressman Tebes. Okay, again, I reiterate my motion, Mr. Chairman. Then, after my motion is dispensed with, I'd like to continue with my questioning, Mr. Chairman. Okay, so as I stated earlier, there was a motion, Julie seconded. I believe that uh, the Congressman from uh, Osamis has withdrawn his uh, comments. Is that uh, the way I put it? Uh, uh, it's not an opposition, Mr. Chair. Yes. It's just a comment. comment. On it's just a yeah. comment, yeah. yeah. And this so, is not an obstacle for the passage of the motion. Okay, so since it is not an obstacle in the passage of the motion, the motion, which is duly seconded, is now carried uh, by the committee. So, yeah. May I continue, Mr. Tevez, Chairman? You're recognized. Kanina, I was listening to Jury Rocamora. Sorry to say, boss, ha? Huh? Hirap paniwalaan. Kung ako yung nagdadrive, boss, I, all I had to do was step on the accelerator. I had also been a very bad boy. I've experienced all those things. Sabihin mo, tinutukan ka, ganun lang. To me, sorry to say, hindi ka pa paniwala. Sana lang, ituro nyo na kung sino yung mastermind. Anyway, before I make you speak, I would like to direct my question again to the DIDM, no? 
Listen, you were also listening to Jury Rocamora. Tinatanong ko to para makita ko dito kung yung police is capable of internal cleansing like the president wants. Dahil kung kayo-kayo magtutulungan din, di, ka, baka kailangan namin gumawa ng batas na makakatulong sa taong bayan. Sa 100%, you listening to his story, ka, para sa sa'yo, kapanipaniwala ba or it's more on the lying side? Sa inyo lang. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, your honors, I could not really state if... Uh, as to the truthfulness of what the incident, because I, I'm not the one who investigated the incident. Uh, I don't have all the factors that uh, I should consider, Your Honor. Mr. Chairman, my question was, is this, ha? Uli, um, baguhin ko na yung pagtatanong ko. Ako rin, hindi rin ako nag-imbestiga dun, eh. Pero sa akin lang, sound judge, personal judgment, kayo ho, police kayo. Kung kayo yung driver, ganun yung nangyari, will you freeze or will you step on the accelerator? Motor lang yung kaharap mo. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Your Honor, uh, I could only reply on what uh, I could do uh, because uh, I believe different people might react on, a diff on that situation. So if you're asking me if uh, I was the one who has been... Uh, was driving that vehicle and somebody stopped or put a gun on a, in the middle of nowhere, then uh, yes, I might speed away and uh, hit whatever is on the middle of the road. Okay. Next question, Mr. Chairman. Sa inyong personal na pananaw, kapanipaniwala ba? Kayo, polis ka. Kung isa ka doon, hindi ka kaya makakabunot? At saka, additional question, kapanipaniwala ba na yung dalawang dalawang suspek lang ang natamaan sa ulo pa? Dahil, mag, ano, wag na tayo magbulahan dito. Huwag tayo matakot na may maipit. Dahil kung if we feel or I feel that the police is trying to to protect yung kabaro nila, then we will have to go deeper into this and make several legislation. I see the need for legislation already because we will have to write the president that mahihirapan siya sa internal cleansing niya ng scalawags. Again, may I repeat, may reiterate my question. Kapanipaniwala ba na walang nakabunot at natamaan pa yung dalawa sa ulo pa? Kayo, general. General na kayo eh. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Your Honors, uh, again, uh, clarified uh, if there are two, because the way I understand it, there was only one person who died during that incident. Uh, two. Uh, anyway, uh, Your Honors, again, uh, uh, I could not, hindi po kasi naipakita yung configuration kung paano po sila nakaupo. And again, uh, as an investigator, uh, as what stated earlier, uh, different people react on uh, different situations. Uh, it really boils down to how well the person is trained. So I could not really judge uh, on the actions of the people who were involved on that incident because uh, I have classmates of mine when uh, they were checkpoint by the by the new people's army, they were not able to draw to draw their guns and they were captured. So I could not really, uh, what, what I'm saying is uh, different people react on a certain situation. So I could not really say if uh, I might have drawn also my gun during that time, uh, Your Honor. I'm sorry to say, General, no? I'm getting, I'm getting scared here. Parang kinakabahan na ako na yung police tinatabunan yung mga kabaro nila. Alam mo kasi, I also had that experience, I think, two elections ago. Kasama ko pa mga anak ko, no? Nakabunot naman ako eh. I did not freeze. Ha? Huh? I did not freeze. And hindi ka pa ni paniwala. At hindi ako, alam mo, even if we, I think, even if we, um, ano tawag dito, yung gagawin ulit yung pangyayari, 
Tingin ko mahihirapan matamaan yung dalawa sa ulo kung hindi close range. Anyway, let me direct my question to um, R.D. Beltran. Kapanipaniwala ba yung kwento ni Rocamora? Well, sir. Short lang, boss. Short lang. Marami pa ito eh. Kapanipaniwala o hindi? Uh, ideally, sir, talagang as law enforcement, ideal po talaga dapat is yung site okay, ng ganong police. Sagutin mo lang ako, boss. Kapanipaniwala o hindi? Para simple lang. The, the truth, sir, is hindi ko po ma-judge talaga, sir, yung kwan po is whether it's no, no. because in all, that's their in all happenings sir. in this world, we all, people always have an initial judgment on anything. May babae lang tayong makita, may judgment na tayo, di ba? Kung initial judgment, ano kaya to ganyan? In your initial judgment on his kwento, kapanipaniwala ba o hindi? So that I know where you're siding lang. Kapanipaniwala o hindi? I, I, I don't want to side in because someday I might have to dis make a decision, sir. That, Kaya nga. So, I, so that ayaw I cannot make you wanna be safe right now. Sir. You wanna be safe? No, sir. I just do Kaya not nga. want so, to Kapanipaniwala ba o hindi? Sagutin niyo ako, boss. Sir, I cannot make a decision right now, sir, okay. kung kapanipaniwala Sige. po hindi. Okay. I'm I get sorry, you. Sir. So I have a feeling here that the police is protecting themselves. Hindi ko na alam kung sino mapapaniwala. Ang kausapin ko lang si Bato mamaya. Oh, wala eh. Ito. Sa tingin nyo ba sa ngayon, sa itong pangyayari, hindi ba dapat tanggalin muna itong mga involved habang nag-iimbestiga tayo so as they not to be able to influence the the investigation? I have nothing personal against you, Wagan. Huwag mo tatawanan ng ganyan. Wala, I have nothing, I don't know you. I have nothing against, I have nothing to do with Sambuanga del Norte. I am always very objective and don't give me that laugh. Ha? Kahit police kayo, boss, hindi ako natatakot. Huwag niyo akong gaganunin. Oh, kung gusto niyo makipag-away sa akin, magsabi lang kayo. Ayaw ng ganyan. Ha? Para kang nanghahamon eh. Oh, tang. Anyway, oh, hindi ba dapat i-relieve muna yung mga involved sa isang kaso habang ginagawa yung investigation so that <clears throat> the investigation will not be muddled or influenced by any of the influential officers involved in the case? Uh, yes, sir. Kaya po ako ay in the process po ng conducting my own investigation so that naman po medyo uh, ayaw ko naman po maging uh, bias po kaagad ako. Kaya I consulted uh, the, the first, nung makarating po sa akin yung uh, itong incident na ito, the first thing na ginawa ko po is to seek out si uh, congressman po and to get yung mga uh, information from him so that I can proceed, sir, with my own investigation. And I'm not saying that he's already off the hook. Ako po nasa in the middle po ng aming investigation and I will give my recommendation po sa Chief PNP sa mga susunod po nitong mga concern. Okay. Um, uh, I will wrap up. I will wrap up. General, nakita niyo yung reaction ng polis niyo, no? Can you make... Uh, written document a report on how he reacted to my to my query no which was not even directed to him tingin ko masyadong bastos no at it's unbecoming of an officer it's unbecoming of kahit hindi ako congressman bastos yung ginawa niya dito pa ginawa no and siguro malakas yung loob nito dahil sa dami nang nangyari andun pa rin sila nakaupo can you write a letter to General Bato on what has happened and give me a copy of that incident that happened just now on his reaction to my question, which was to me very unbecoming of a police. Nahahamon ako eh, pero sige lang. Huwag nyo isipin, natatakot ako boss. Hindi ako natatakot sa mga ganyan. No. Can you? You are a high-ranking officer. Uh, we will make the necessary report, yeah. sir. To I want a copy of that report. Lastly, Mr. Chairman, no? Gusto ko matanong ulit 
si Rokamura, I believe it was a whitewash yung ginawa nyo. Let me ask you categorically, whitewash yun o malinis kayo? Kung ako sa'yo, magsalita na ako eh. Madadamay ka rin dito, boss. Whitewash yun, may naguto sa'yo o wala? Uh, Your Honor, wala po. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's all. Thank Chair. you, uh, Congressman Teves. Uh, Congressman Alusos. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Let, let me lower the tension, no? Uh, PD Wagan, sorry, ah. medyo mainit lang, and uh, bahay po namin to. Uh, this is the House of the People, and we are the congressmen in charge. So we'd like to ask for some respect. So pasensya na. Hindi kami nag insulto And uh, I just wanted to make it clear. Now, we are all here doing our jobs. I'm sure you guys are doing your jobs, the NB are doing your jobs, the PD is doing your jobs, and we are doing our jobs. So please allow us to do our job. This is exactly why we have uh, the right to call for an investigation. We passed the budget of the National Police, the DALG, the PDEA, and everyone else. And we have a right to, um, to, to hold or to, 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 to question kung karapat dapat pa bigyan ng budget ang isang uh, branch kung hindi or non-performing sila. Ang tanong ko dito, PD, uh, during this case ni Guico, uh, for the indulgence of the committee, I'd like to uh, give a short brief on what happened to Guico. Guico is a known asset na nakakulong. On broad daylight, he was brought to the Bulwagan uh, for, uh, I think, que questioning or uh, I'm not sure kung anong nangyari. Pero yung dinala siya sa bul Bulwagan, broad daylight, nakaposas pa, binaril ng apparently sniper. Uh, ang tanong doon, P.D. Wagan, during that time, since R.D. was saying na meron naman kayong full knowledge and the uh, way na malalaman kung mga ganito, ay, uh, I mean, you guys have your own process in, um, in investigating na malalaman ninyo. I'm also aware that Dipolog City has a lot of CCTVs. This happened in the center, the center of Dipolog, uh, broad daylight. Ano po yung nangyari during your investigation? Can you please... Um, expound. Uh, Your Honor, hindi po tulad kanina na hindi ko alam ang details. Hindi ko pa rin po alam, pero ito po, babasahin ko, nakuha ko na yung report. Please do. Uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor, uh, Congressman, ano, lagi lang talaga po akong nakangiti. Hindi po, wala po akong ibig sabihin na iba doon. Uh, hindi kasi tayo magkakilala, so hindi ko alam kung umingiti ka lang talaga or ano. <laughs> I'm sorry po, Your Honor. Okay lang, okay lang po. Uh, ito po yung nangyari doon. As recorded, on August 13, 2010, at around 1.30 p.m., a by operation was conducted by intelligence operatives of the Pollock City Police Station. The subject person, uh, si Guico Puto, that gave positive result against R.G. Guico E. Cuenca. Recovered from his possession and control were five pieces of big and two pieces of small transparent plastic sachet containing white crystalline substance believed to be shabu. On August 16, 2010, inquest proceeding for violation of Section 5 and Section 11 of Article RA 9165 was filed against subject person before Office of the City Prosecutor of Dipolog City. Docketed under criminal case numbers 16562 and 16563. Before Honorable Judge Cherry A. Sorilla, Febiar, RTC Branch 10, Dipolog City. Subpen so addressed jail warden uh, of BJMP Dipolog City issued before RTC Branch 10 Dipolog City entitled People, People of the Philippines versus RG Guico for the above stated charge and criminal case numbers that said accused was directed to appear before the said court for petition for bail with appropriate escort from BJMP Dipolog City Jail. As Pat report, from uh, Jail Chief Inspector Richard B. Tulabing, Warden of the Polog City Jail, stating that inmate R.G. Guico E. Cuenca was shot by an unknown shooter upon disembarking from the prisoner's van to attend the scheduled hearing at RTC Branch 10, Bulwagan ng Katarungan, the Polog City, hitting him on his upper right chest. The escort rushed him to the hospital but was later declared dead by his attending physician. Initial progress report from the jail chief inspector Tulabing stating that R.G. Guico and, uh, <clears throat> and a certain inmate were jointly handcuffed to attend court hearing, being escorted by personnel for BJMP, the Pollock City, 
Upon their arrival at the back portion of Justice Hall building, particularly near the exit door, the two inmates disembarked from prisoner's van. Accordingly, SJO3 Paner positioned in front of the van, while JO2 Jimenez and JO1 Nacher and Nayal guarded the inmates on the rear distance. Suddenly, an unidentified gunman allege, allegedly who was positioned on far distance for more or less 40 meters, fired once hitting RG Guico on the upper right chest. Separate investigation conducted by Probers of the Polog City Police Station and interview on available witnesses stated that upon the inmates disembarking from the prisoner's van, a lone shot was heard from the distance prompting the members of BJMP, the Polog City Jail, to seek cover. Inmates R.G. Guico and uh, Recososa, while stepping away from the van, R.G. Guico suddenly fell to the concrete pavement near the entrance exit door of Bulwaga ng Katarungan Building, the Polog City. Hence, Recososa, which was assisted by his live-in partner, Vir Virgin Lee Sianco, pulled and dragged inside the body of R.G. Guico inside the staff room of RTC Branch 6. SJ Otri and JO1 Nayal fired okay. towards PD, excuse me. Um, parang okay na, uh, medyo mahaba-haba na. Okay. I already get that. Uh, yes, no, thank you, thank yes, you. Po, I just like to ask no. During that time again, um wala na naman nag uh, retaliate. Wala na naman nakabaril. As I have just read, yes. nag-fire back your honor yung jail officers. Not may natamaan. Uh, may... Wala po, Your Honor, based on reports. Okay. Uh, like I said, this is under your jurisdiction. Yes, Your Honor. And this Honor. didn't even happen at night, just like the PDEA. This happened during the day. Up to now, wala rin po kayong lead, wala rin kayong witness. And ngayon, you're gonna tell me na walang action kasi walang witness. Eh. Wala tayong magagawa. So, sino po yung in charge na maghahanap ng witness o gagawa ng case? Uh, your Honor, alam nyo po, bawat po kaso, meron tayong in charge na investigator on case. Yun po actually, kasama sana sa mababasa ko and sila po yung nangangalap ng yes, but information regarding Didi, that. You're, you're on top of this eh. Yung mga tao in, uh, below you, yung mga subordinates mo, dapat may pananagutan. Because ibig sabihin nun, it's either they're the ones who are incompetent or you are. Because all these all this, uh, killings that have happened, gruesome to ah, very chilling. The USEC of DOJ was there the very next day after that happened. And he told me it was a very unusual case. And it cannot fall under EJK because he was on his way to a hearing. So talagang he was silenced uh, then. Uh, like I said, I started with this investigation with five witnesses. Dalawa lang na iwan. Kaya nagpapasalamat ako sa mga witnesses na to. And uh, sa ginawa ninyo kay Maral, because they had the strength and the courage to stand up and to tell their story. So ngayon, we have an airtight case. And I hope like we I started this um this hearing na everyone does their job now going to the NBI no there was an incident like uh i filed a resolution 1844 around 2015 no 2015 in to investigate uh, an apparent almost shootout or standoff between the NBI and the police i cannot uh, fathom as to how two agencies with the same mandate come into close battle in the same province. Can someone please uh, explain to me uh, during then, were you the provincial director, PD, during that time? Alin po, Your Honor, I'm sorry. Yung nag apparent nagbanggaan ang police and ang NBI. Malapit na magbarilan. Uh, Your Honor, during my time, parang wala akong narinig. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, PD. Uh, can I ask um, the NBI, sir, kung, if you have any knowledge about this and uh, can you expound further? We'd just like to shed light on, uh, on what happened. Thank you, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair, Your Honors. I happen to be the uh, regional director of the NBI in uh, Western Mindanao region, covering the NBI district offices of uh, Dipolog for Sambuanga del Norte and Pagadian for Sambuanga del Sur, and the entire uh, uh, Sambuanga Archipelago, including the island provinces of Basilan, Sulu, and Tawitawi. I was there for two years, and uh, this happened during my watch as the regional director. The incident leading uh, to the, the uh, harassment, if I may, Your Honor, uh, 
was because the NBI at that time was in custody of a uh, witness who is now uh, with us and who earlier took his oath. Uh, the NBI were uh, conducting uh, evidence gathering uh, operations and uh, they were harassed by a group of uh, policemen. Uh, for the uh, details on this, Your Honor, but uh, Your Honor, please, if uh, with the indulgence of the uh, committee, uh, we would like to take this up in uh, the, the uh, executive session as the NBI and the PNP are under uh, very interesting times, if I may say, in connection with the uh, GICJU case. Uh, any further comment by the NBI or the PNP that would lead to uh, 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 blaming at each other may not uh, sit well for uh, the both uh, institutions, Your Honor. Uh, we have uh, Agent Paul uh, Dusdos who was uh, there, uh, a, a, if I may say, a victim of that uh, incident. If uh, we may be allowed, Your Honor, to take this up during the uh, executive session, Your Honor. Uh, Yes, R.D., uh, thank you. Uh, okay, let me uh, go to my next um, witness or resource speaker. speaker no? uh, si Alvear, Superintendent Alvear. Yes, sir. Yes, hi. Ngayon lang tayo nagkakita ba? Ngayon lang. Uh, in this chamber, sir. Uh, pero previously, sir, nakikita na namin tayo sa ano, sir? Yes, because sa, um, sa at one point, we had a conversation. I don't know if you can recall that. This was in the house wherein you admitted, you have taken your oath. You have taken your oath right now. Um, you have ad admitted to me that you know about the drug trade in the province and sinabi mo pa nga na napagod ka na and you even, even mentioned uh, SP2 Roy Vertudes on the phone. I even made you talk to my lawyer. Uh, dun mo ibinigay ang parang matrix kung sino mga involved sa please don't deny this meron akong evidence niya na because uh, like I said I called you during office hours here in Congress and if I tell you I can even show you the number that you used to call me in or when I spoke to you so don't deny don't deny this kasi this will incriminate you um, I just like to know and can you please explain how you're connecting Bertudes and the drug industry in the province Sir, uh, with, you re uh, with respect to your query, sir, uh, it was Attorney Stephen, if I'm not mistaken, sir, Stephen Cascolan, who called me up. No, I spoke to you first. Hindi uh, di tayo nag-usap? Nag-usap po tayo, sir, pagkabigay ni Attorney Stephen ang phone with you. Uh, pero the first person who called me up, it's Attorney Stephen Cascolan. He introduced... Uh, he said to me that I'm uh, Attorney Cascolan. Yes. If to clear this thing out, sir, uh, I was able to speak with one of your lawyers mm -hmm. who happened to be my brother in a fraternity. During that time, I was so confused. I heard something about Bertudes, but during that time, just what I've said to Attorney Cascolan, we don't have any strong evidence to link. Though the link diagram you are talking about, I told you, uh, nasabi ko po sa inyo, sir, the link diagram, when I was still in Rizal, when I was uh, sa Rojas, because during that time, sir, you're referring to the link diagram, I think you're referring for the entire link diagram of Sambuanga del Norte, sir. But, what, as what I have said, sir, wala po tayong concrete evidence linking uh, Sinabi ko kay, nung binalik nyo na yung phone kay Attorney Cascolan, sinabi ko kay Attorney Cascolan, and then, mandabanggit nga akong pangalan kay Attorney Cascolan, pero sabi ko, Sir, we don't have any evidence as of now. Kasi, na, kumbaga nasagap lang yun, Sir, nasagap lang na... So, you would call me and you would try to reach out to get to me to say that you're confused, na hindi mo uh, alam kung... You have enough evidence to prove anything. Uh, as I recall, we spoke and you said, pagod ka na sa nangyayari sa probinsya. And this was before my privileged speech and that you would expose them. Pero sinabi mo lang na hindi mo, i kung pwede, itago kita sa privileged speech. That I made promise 
I never mentioned your name. But now, this is the hearing. And I'd like to mention, an official hearing to, I'd like to mention that we did speak. And during that time, you did give names, and you never said that you were confused. Although now, apparently, you have, you've had some amnesia, and uh, ngayon, nakakonfuse ka na ngayon. Uh, I, hindi po ako magdi-deny, sir, na we have talked through phone, through phone po, sir. Kaya yung sinabi ko sa inyo, sir, it was a turn first. Uh, sinasabi ko nga sa inyo, sir, the first person na na nalilink sa inyo po, sir, na nakausap ko is my brother in a fraternity in the person of Tony Ahok. Oh, so, casual casual conversation. Sabi niya, I think he's uh, Congress of Bullets is investigating. Uh, ano bro, would you like to, I will link to you, uh, to Congress of Bullets, sabi, sabi niya sa akin. So, sabi ko, pwede siguro, pero not now, kasi the information I have gathered is very, kumbaga, raw. Kasi, happy lang po ako ng raw as MPS po, sir. I cannot cover everything. The entire, uh, sa Mbogo del Norte, which the good congressman of 1st District is claiming na may link diagram ako for sa ano. Speaking of link diagram, sir, yung sinabi ko sa inyo, may link diagram ako ang ginawa sa Rizal. Siguro hindi nyo po narinig. Kasi nanggaling po ako dun eh. Sa Rizal MPS. Kasi, it's, uh, kumbaga, on my part, uh, since oh, okay. na... Okay, ganito na lang. Let's not go into details. Kasi parang pinapaikot nyo tayo eh. Uh, do you remember saying uh, or naming Bertudes as one of the main guys in regards to the drug trade sa probinsya? Yes or no? Do you, tayo lang dalawa nag-usap nun? Sir, I, na, nabanggit ko sa inyo, sir, pero can I justify the... the... No, no, no. I, I just want to know. Okay, yes or no lang eh. Tinatanong ko lang eh. Para malaman din nila. Para hindi magulo yung question and answer natin. No? Tinatanong ko lang, if you remember that you mentioning the name of Bertudes to me, uh, as part, as one of the big players or yung nag-ooperate ng droga sa probinsya. Yun lang. Yes or no? Yes or no question lang yun. Yung information na sir, ni sinabi ko sa inyo, since sinabi ko sa information, is still to be validated sir. So, baka na may misconstrued po natin, an information into an intelligence information. That's two different things kasi yan sir eh. So, what I've said to you, I have an information Alam mo, uh, Alviar, if I were to tell you that one of the congressmen here is into drugs, I don't think it would come out as a mere information. Because kasama namin yan eh. Mas may alam ako dyan eh. Kasi kasama namin. You are a police officer. You were once the chief of police of Polanco, and then you were once the chief of police of Rizal. So I think you've already ha made your rounds in the province for you not to make a mistake kung sino yung mga police na involved dito sa droga sa probinsya. So don't pull, to, don't pull our legs here. And uh, wag kang magsinungaling dito because like I said, you're under oath. I can hold you in contempt. That's all, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chairman. Okay, Congressman Tevez. Uh, let, let us uh, make this uh, quick and short, Congressman Tevez. Yeah, because, so because uh, we need to go to the executive session. Yeah, we would like to call for an executive session after the query of Congressman Tevez. Two things, so, lang, no? Sorry, General Reyes. I, I'm not trying to hit on your anything. Because ikaw lang yung mukhang pinaka-senior dito, eh. Kaya ikaw yung tinatanong ko at nasa investigation kayo. Ang sa akin, ganito. Do you think makakakuha tayo ng patas na investigation... Kung yung police rin ang gumagawa ng report, paano pag sila yung gumagawa ng krimen? I, I'm not here to hit on the police. Tinatanong ko to, alam mo bakit? Para magawa natin ng batas. Kaya kung, kung sa tingin nyo may problema, sabihan nyo kami, para mabago natin yung batas, wala nang mahihirapan. Di ba, sino ba gumagawa ng, ng... Yung report na binasa ni Wagan, sino gumawa nun? Abogado, police, pare, sino gumawa nun? It is the investigator. Kaya nga, police, pare... Police. Uh, police yes, so, kung police yung involved, sa tingin nyo, sir, i-incriminate kaya nung lower rank policeman yung higher up niya? Sa tingin nyo lang? Sa kalakaran ng institusyon nyo? Sa tingin nyo lang? Uh, person that way, sir, it might. He might not. Might not. Might not. Okay. So, sa tingin nyo, karapat dapat na gumawa tayo ng batas with regards to that? Or pabayaan na natin ganun? Uh, 
Mr. Chairman, Your Honors, uh, any law that will uh, upgrade the capability and enhance the organization, uh, the national headquarters, the Philippine Nationals uh, would uh, really greatly appreciate it, Your Honor. Oh. Sa akin kasi ganito yan eh. Yung nangyari kila Rukamora, sa akin ang wala akong kinalaman sa inyo, boss. Hindi ko kayo kilala eh. Wala naman akong kinalaman dun sa sa dipolog. Pwera lang meron akong konting kilala na taga dun. But I have nothing to do politically or anything there. Nakikita ko lang that he is one of the most guil he's one of the guilty parties because he was there. But again, kabaro sila, gag police yung gagawa na report. Siyempre, they go scot-free. Now, my question is ganito. Ngayon kasi, this is another thing but still related to this. I know, me personally, no? There's one agency of the police that's doing a case build up on me due to a rumor si, re, si, um, brought up before election. My chismis, sinulat sa presidente or sa sino man, may case build up ngayon yung CIDG. Sa akin, alam ko yun, hindi ko pa natatawag kay Ubusan. Oh, I'm 100% sure. Pupusta ko yung sweldo ko dito kung mali ako. Oh. Again, my question, I don't mind. Case build up, wala naman akong ganawang kasalanan eh. Ang tanong ko lang, na, nasa investigasyon ka, matagal na ako nag-report na yung PD namin dati, si Colonel Chempo, may kasabuatan ng governor namin sa, pagbibent, sa pagpapatakbo ng drug trade din sa aming probinsya. Is there a case build up against the governor and and Colonel Chempo? If you cannot answer it here, answer me in the executive session. I just like to know. Because uh, yung, yung sa akin, chismis lang eh. Yung reklamo ko, official yun sa kongreso. So gusto ko malaman kung merong case build up and I would like to see the document in the executive session if there is any. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor, I'm not aware of any. I have to check it uh, Kaya nga, personally. If you cannot give it today, I want it in the next meeting. I want an answer to that effect. Kung meron bang case build up na ginawa kay Governor Digamo at kay Colonel Chempio sa pagsasabuatan nila sa drug trade sa Negros Oriental. Uh, we will comply, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Your Honors. Yeah. Thank you. That's all, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm afraid we won't be able to uh, hear the affidavits of the three other witnesses kasi medyo mahaba na po yung ating uh, na, na gamit na oras dito. And uh, we'd like to take uh, this opportunity to call for an executive session sa mga NBI personnel uh, as uh, initially discussed by Director Lavin Kanina, that there are statements that they wish to make that are of national a threat to national security. So, siguro we may we will excuse already the other resource persons, the other resource persons that are here, uh, that are not members of the National Bureau of Investigation. And uh, we will temporarily suspend the hearing on this uh, particular issue. And in the, the subsequent hearings that we will call, we will again send out invitations. And as we clearly stated earlier at the onset, uh, we hope that the agencies that we will invite will respect the invitations that we will extend. Uh, and hopefully the Chief PNP will be present as well because uh, the proponent of the, the resolution would want the, the chief PNP to be aware of this issue. Uh, not, uh, this is not to say that uh, the presence of the PNP personnel uh, headed by uh, General Reyes is not sufficient. It is uh, sufficient as well as the presence of Yusek uh, Quinto of PIDEA uh, who are also able representatives of uh, uh, General La Peña. So, the next hearing, pagpasensyahan nyo lang ho, dahil marami-rami pa rin ho ito at mahaba-haba pa ito. And, of course, the presence of uh, the Dangerous Drugs Board Secretary, Benji Reyes, uh, will also be needed in the subsequent hearings that we will call. So, with that, uh, we would like, uh, we would like, okay, before I make that uh, final uh, statement, we, Congressman Tebes, Okay. Dagdag nyo na lang, dahil narinig ko kasi, matagal na may nireport din si Kong Halusos 
dati pa tungkol kay Wagan. So gusto ko rin malaman kung meron ba kayong ginawang case build up. I'd like to see the document also if ever. Bring it on the next hearing. If you cannot say it in front of him, tell me in the executive session. Alam mo bakit ko ito tinatanong? Because gusto ko malaman what I'm really leading at is, again, let me remind everybody, we are here in an investigation in aid of legislation in line with the President's cleaning of the PNP. So gusto ko malaman kung merong reklamo sa mga tauhan nyo, kung meron ba kayong ginagawa. Because sa akin, chismis lang may case build-up. Eh. Case build-up is a higher level of investigation. Gusto ko malaman kung sa mga pulis, meron ba kayong ginagawang case build-up sa kabaro nyo. And pakisama yung kay Wagan at yung kay Rocamora kung meron ba. And I'd like to see the documents in the next session. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's all. Uh, General Reyes? Mr. Chairman, Your Honors, you have to check uh, where the request or the report, well, what, for, to what director, uh, directorate the report was addressed because... Uh, I have to check the report okay. and we will uh, comply. Uh, the PMP will comply accordingly, uh, Mr. Chairman and Your Honors. Okay, thank you, General. Uh, doon naman sa mga witnesses, uh, sana nandito kayo sa susunod na hearing. Uh, importante yung inyong uh, mga, mga statement din. Nang sa ganun, eh, makagawa naman tayo ng isang magandang committee report. So with that, uh, we temporarily suspend uh, the this uh, hearing and we would like to ask uh, the members of the NBI to please stay and the rest of the, the guests here uh, no they can leave anyway they, they can we can uh, so since this is a there will be a temporarily sus temporary suspension of this hearing so the, all the other guests aside from the NBI personnel personnel uh, are asked to to be excused uh, in this uh, room. Thank you very much and good afternoon.